Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. Chill Friday stream today. Let's go, let's go. How's everybody doing? Oh my gosh, it is so good to be back. I missed you all so much. How are you all doing? Welcome into the stream. Oh, so many familiar faces, and that's what I'm so excited about. What's going on, Reese, Becca, Nugget, Apathy, Pockets, Bootsy? Welcome in, everybody. Rito, Nap Ninja, you're all here today. How are you all doing? How how's it going? I know it's only been literally just like a week away. But it feels like longer. <laughs> it really does. It's so it's so funny. I, I really missed uh, streaming, but I had a very, very good holiday, though. Um, very, very good. It was very much needed. Haven't had a holiday in a while. So, yeah, I. This feels so strange because it feels like I haven't done this in two weeks or something like that. So I'm like, am I going to be rusty? I don't know. <laughs> Yo, block down. What's going on? How are you doing? You found me two days ago. You're really excited. Oh, welcome in. That makes me so happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blocky's here. Yo, Candy, what's going on? Welcome in, everybody. It has, it's, it's just so nice to be able to come back to streaming today. I'm very excited. And just like that, my voice is going two minutes into the stream. <clears throat> I, just need to, I just need to keep drinking water. I feel like I am still very dehydrated from my trip because I just, I didn't drink that much water. <laughs> I know I should have had more water, but I did not drink that much water while I was traveling. Just because I feel like I kind of just forget. I don't know if anybody else does that. And I just came back severely dehydrated. I feel like I've been rehydrating my body properly for the, like the past week and a bit. Yeah, I'm it was it was a very, very nice getaway, but like also very, very happy to be back. Ruth missed me so much, like ridiculous. When we got home, she has been like glue to us, like she will not leave our side. She literally is taking a nap in the chair beside me right now. It is actu actually adorable. It's so sweet. We have a video of her um, when we come back into our like home for the first time. She like heard our footsteps and she greeted us at the door and was just like, completely just meowing like crazy <laughs> hydration juice okay okay i gotta i gotta take a sip it's not even water i'm drinking i'm drinking iced tea i should be drinking water but i was like no i really want iced tea right now all right so we have like a couple of plans for today Nothing too big. I thought I'd keep it kind of chill. And by kind of chill, I was thinking, oh my gosh, my inventory is such a mess from the last thing that I did. Um, I was thinking we were just going to do a cave spider spawner. I don't know if that's like a chill thing to do or not, but I think they're pretty easy to make. They're very similar to all of like the skeleton spawners and stuff that I've made before. So we should be fine. We should be fine doing it. I mean, I, I might die. I might die. But like, it's fine. There's one near us that we know about, so it'll be really easy to get to. And that'll kind of help us with the whole XP situation for now, because I find that our problem is it's hard for us to gather XP. It's a little bit easier now that we have like our villager trades and stuff like that. But I would like something that I can just kind of like AFK at for now and um, just like chill out, gathering XP and all that stuff, you know? Okay, I'm going to have to put all this stuff away because it is just a mega mess. Oh, no, I'm so sorry to hear that apathy. I that. Oh, man, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's really rough and totally understand. Totally understand. Do do what you got to do with that. Iced tea is your favorite drink. Yeah, me too. I know I should be drinking water right now, but. Um, but I can't. <laughs> I, I need iced tea. It's the only thing that keeps me going recently. I don't know why. Like, I don't know. I'm just like in a juice phase right now. I just can't. I just can't help myself. <laughs> cave spiders chill. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure cave spiders are like the most chill thing to be doing today. But like, we're going to try it out anyway. You know, we're going to try it out. Um, all right, let's put all this stuff away. Just need to organize this a little bit before we go down into the caves. 
So I'm also going to check out the um, <clears throat> the villager stuff that we did as well. I want to just like refresh my memory because I feel like it's been so long since I've been here that I forget what we did. I know in the last stream what we did was we built that really cool um, the logging cabin and then we filled it with villagers like Fletchers, I think something like that. Uh, let's put all this stuff away. See, it's like, I don't even remember where half of my inventory stuff goes. I'm just like so out of it. There we go. All right, that should be good for now, I think. Okay. Yeah, iced tea is at least 50% water. Exactly, Azzy, exactly. Like, I'm still, I'm still getting hydrated. I'm still getting hydrated, it's fine. All right, let's go take a look to see what we did in the last stream. I need to refresh my memory. Oh, I remember now the cows, the cows on top of the hill. They're like fortune tellers. Oh, there's a donkey now too. Oh, very nice. Okay, so we made this cute little log cabin. This area still needs like a ton of work in terms of terraforming and stuff like that. I really want to fix up the side of this hill here because right now it just kind of looks like here, I'll swim over here so y'all can see and get a better picture. Are you meant to hear any music? Yes. Do you not hear any? Hold on a second. Uh, is that better? How's that for you all? Can you hear the music at all? <clears throat> I might have had it too low. It should be running now. Are we good on the music front or no music? None? Really? Okay, wait, what about this? Uh, that's so weird. Can you all hear that? That is so strange. It says that it's going on my desktop audio. I don't know why it wouldn't be reaching y'all though. What? You can hear the game sound though, right? No? Oh no, what? What is going on? I don't know how to fix this. It's probably the audio splitting in OBS, okay. Oh, you're right. Can you even hear my game sounds? Okay, I might have to fix this really quickly. Hold on a second. You hear game sounds, okay. Let's see, let me see if I can fix this really quickly. Hold on a second. Cause we gotta get the vibes going, you know? Audio, 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 audio. Block, do you remember where the audio tab is again for this? Is it under properties? Advanced audio properties, I think? Uh. Let's see. Blocky's gonna help me. Okay, still nothing. Uh, where is the tab for the, oh, here it is. I see it, the tracks. Let's try this, hold on a second. Do y'all hear that? Output settings. All right, let me know if you hear that. Yeah, music? Okay, I'll turn it down now. It's probably very, very loud. Got it? Yeah, let's go. Thank you, Block. Okay, that, that's good to know for future. Very nice. Pog, can I get some swags in chat for my audio expert over here? Yeah, let's go. And game sounds are probably fine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good, we're good. Cool, thank you. Okay, so. In the last stream, what we did was we built this cute little log cabin. However, it just needs like a lot of terraforming and stuff around it. I was having trouble placing trees like, oh my gosh, my voice. Every time I stream, it's so embarrassing. It just it just gives out. I need tea and honey. Somebody recommended that and I, I agree. OK, so I need trees or something along the hilltop. I need to make it look a little bit more like forest vibes. You know what I mean? So we're going to have to work on that in the future, but today I figured we'd do something that would kind of benefit us a little bit more, which is the XP farm. 
So we'll get to that afterwards. And I'll show you all just to refresh on what we did in here. So we have downstairs, we have two Fletchers and we basically just trade with them. And then upstairs, I feel like this, we can have like maybe a couple more uh, villagers in here and then just like a ton of storage for wood and stuff like that. You love the log cabin in the council. Yeah, they are the overseers of the land. I love that. That's great. <laughs> we actually got a lot of emeralds from this too. Like I was kind of shocked with that, especially because I didn't do any um, zombie villager curing or anything like that. I was just like, oh, I can't be bothered. And it's turned out pretty, pretty useful so far. But I think also we do need like another avenue for um, XP and stuff anyway. So we'll figure that out as well. I have so much stuff in here, so much stuff. All right. I have to stop, stop stalling. I think it's time for us to go down into the caves. I'm kind of scared if I'm honest, kind of scared. Yo, Bootsy, oh, you missed so much. Yeah, you missed the last stream. Well, I hope your job's going well, though. I hope you're having a good time with it and all. Yo, Wellington, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing? All right. Let's gather up. I don't really think we need many things for the spider spawner except a couple of hoppers and chests. So we need at least three chests. I'll bring, honestly, all of these just in case. Uh, we need three chests. We need some hoppers that we're gonna have to make. I think we have a ton of iron in here. Mm. Just need to smelt it, honestly. And then we need some trap doors, I think. That's pretty much it. Okay. Where are... Let's make some trap doors. Eight should suffice, I think. And then other than that, I don't think we really need anything other than like torches and stuff like that. So let me put away some of this other random stuff so far. Actually, slabs we can probably use as well. And I'll bring down a stack of wood just in case, because you never know. Honestly, I find that it's just like, you always kind of need wood, you know? I'm trying. I'm trying with this storage system. It's it's working out okay so far, but I think I think I could improve it a little bit. It's a very small storage room, but I think with what I've done so far, it's been okay. Yo, Tanish, what's going on? Welcome in. How are you doing? Ooh, bucket of water. Yes, thank you. Slabs and bucket of water. We got the slabs. We just need the buckets. Good call. All right, let's smelt some of this iron then. And I think we should bring... So we got one bucket. We should probably make one more so we can make like an infinite water source or something like that while we're down there. <laughs> they aren't in prison. They're temporarily stuck. Yeah, it's just it's just their workstations. It's fine. It's just the villager workstations. The organization though, thank you, thank you. I, I still am very proud of it because it's better than what it once was. <laughs> Yo, Sassy, what's going on? Welcome in. And no worries, you are, you're actually still right at the beginning. We started probably like 15 minutes ago or something like that. Welcome in, I hope you're having a good day. Oh yes, many hoppers, three hoppers. Okay, so we'll make our little buckets of water. Got those. And then let's go make our hoppers really quickly. And I think we should be good to go. Ah. Oh, no. I always do that. I always step on my own crops. Drives me nuts. Please organize on Bloodline so you can take your block. See, it's an anti-theft system, okay? That's what it is. That's my trick. Don't, don't, organize your, don't organize any of your items because you know what? People just... They'll, they'll pass by your stuff. They'll pass by your stuff and they won't want it. That's exactly what it is. That's that's my reasoning for doing it. Now that you said that block, I'm never organizing my storage on bloodlines ever, ever. <laughs> All right, let's make a couple of hoppers. How do we make the, them again? Easy peasy, boom. Awesome, so we got three. Who 
<laughs> you're still gonna take them. It just takes you longer. <laughs> Stop wasting your time. No, now that you said that, I'm never. See, I was gonna fix my storage on the weekend in Bloodlines, but now I'm never gonna do it. I'm never ever gonna do it now. Cause I know if if it wastes your time, then it's then that's just a gift for me. <laughs> All right, time for us to go down into the caves. Let's do this. I'm a little bit nervous, but I, I think I can handle this because the spider spawner I think is already kind of like blocked off or whatever. So it can't, it can't hurt us. It can't hurt us. I owe you block after I murdered you literally. Okay, this is, this is false. This is false. I need to clear a couple things up here. I'm, I'm just gonna stop for a second. Today, I was on the Bloodline server, minding my own business, by the way. I was just hanging out, you know, just, just walking around the village. And then Block came up from behind and literally one shot killed me. <laughs> like literally with a bow, one shot, just straight up. I just died right away because I wasn't wearing any armor. Honestly, it was kind of my fault. I literally, I don't know why I just have not put on any armor on that server. I'm like, it'll be fine. <laughs> just like decimated completely. Yo, Mitch, what's going on? How you doing? Imagine being that weak. I mean, I don't even have to imagine. I don't. <gasps> there it is. Okay, perfect. This is actually like really easy to get to. Also, yeah. Okay, wait. While I was gone, so I feel like so much has happened. Like, I haven't even had a chance to like talk to you all about like the Bloodline series and all of this like cool stuff that's been going on. Um, so yeah, like, Bloodlines dropped the other day. If you all have watched it, I I hope you all enjoy it. It's been really, really fun to make and I'm really, really excited. Like, honestly, we've had just like so much positivity around that series and it makes us so happy because like, honestly, like we all worked really hard on it and it's been so fun to make and I'm just like very, very excited that you all have been enjoying it. So yeah, thank you all for that. It's been really, really fun. Oh, you're sick, so you're bothered right now. Oh, I hope you're. I hope you feel better, though, Mitch. I hope you feel better. I saw iron. I had to have it. I'm already distracted. See, this is this is the problem. I get. Did I hear a spider? It's not possible. Oh, ah, oh. Where? Oh, oh. What is this? Oh, there's so much here. What is going on? Ow! Oh no, no. Go away. No! Okay, there's a... I see you. I see you. Okay, come here. Oh, there's a lot going on here. All right, all right, all right. Oh! Honestly, I feel like the best thing to do is just let creepers explode. Like, just don't even have to deal, deal with it. Yo, Haley, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing? Yeah, creepers are there to help clear out other blocks and honestly, just like, just kill the other mobs for me. It's like a win-win situation. As long as you don't, don't get too close to them, they really are just like, they're handy. Gotcha. All right, let's light this up quickly so we don't have any other issues. I think this should all be good for now. I think we're pretty safe with this. Okay, so with this spider spawner, I guess what I need to do is I need to start, oh my gosh, there's a lot going on here. So I need to start tearing out the area around it, but then also kind of like enclosing some of the stuff that doesn't need to be torn out. So I watched a couple of tutorials on this. I think I watched uh, Shulkercraft and Voltrox, and they're pretty easy to make from what I understand, from what I remember. It's just like really clearing out like a simple box and stuff like that and kind of just letting them foolishly fall into a little area and then you just hit them. So let's clear this area out a little bit. Gather some blocks. Yo, Pat, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing? Okay, so... With this spider spawner, I think what I need to do is, I think it's like 
two blocks high above this part. Also, I don't know if everybody else does this. You're all going to have to like walk me through this because I have a fair idea of how this works, but also I might need a little bit of help. I place blocks like this above the spider spawner so they can't spawn above, right? I'm pretty sure that's what we do. We just like place a little block like that above. And then from there, I think we need like four blocks surrounding the spider spawner. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. I don't know why I did that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Counting with drift. Let's go. So this is like the general vicinity. I think I'm going to actually have to get like... Oh, I started tearing into this and I actually didn't have to, I don't think. Whoops. So we need to make a little bit of a square like this. Whoops. So I think it's two blocks high. Something like this. Break the spawner and move it somewhere else. I, I know not... Actually, can you do that with fortune? Can you actually do that? Or not fortune, sorry, silk touch. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. No, okay, so it's so a block's trolling. Block is being a little bit of a troll right now. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna try it. I'm not gonna try it. This is like the one spawner that's like really close to my place. I'm not gonna ruin that. I don't, I, I can't, I can't. I forgot the names of all of my pickaxes and stuff. They're so funny. They, I don't think they ever get old to me, honestly. Okay, so this should be enough cobble to keep filling this in. Block's trying to ruin my game, guys. He's being mean. <laughs> you can break it with an enchanted fish. Okay, now, like, this has become such a meme that I feel like... I don't even know. We need to have, like, an enchanted fish option on, like, Camp Cozy or something like that. I feel like that would be very entertaining. You're listening to the stream and playing Minecraft. Honestly, that is that is best vibes, best vibes. That's always what I'm doing as well. If I'm kind of like doing something that's like relaxing or grinding away on Minecraft, like I always have a stream in the background. I love it. Okay, so I just fill it in like this. I'm, I'm doing it right, right? I think I am. Okay, I'm gonna have to go up here to fix this. Oh no, I'm out of cobble. Oh. Y'all, I feel so rusty. I haven't played Minecraft in like over a week or something like that. So it just feels genuinely so weird to be playing Minecraft again. I don't know if y'all feel that way sometimes when you like step away from a video game for a while and you come back and you're like, how do I do anything? Like anything. I feel like I'm like, I'm like off my vibe right now in terms of like, how to do things. I'll pick it back up again though. I feel very rusty though. There we go. Okay, so this part's enclosed. This part's enclosed. It's looking good. Oh wait, no, this doesn't look good. Okay, let's fix this up a bit. <laughs> okay. There we go. So we've got the top part done. This is all fixed up and it's looking good. Looking good. But now I need to just like fix the bottom part too. So this is coming along nicely. Kickback Club merch when? Oh, soon, soon. Enchanted Fish would be the first thing. Enchanted Fish merch would definitely be the first thing. Or like a little, like, could you imagine like a little pillow or something like that? That's an Enchanted Fish, it'd be adorable. Would I ever consider making an Origins SMP or adding Origins to Bloodlines? Um, I'm not sure. That's some, like, um, for Bloodlines, that's something that, like, the group would have to decide on. But me and Blocky actually did end up making an Origins vid, uh, a while back. And honestly, that mod is one of the most fun things to play on. I love it so, so much. Um, I would definitely be open to making, like, another Origins series again. But I can't guarantee it would ever be on, like, the Kickback Club or, like, anything like that. But I would not say no to doing another uh, Origins related video for sure. Okay, so four. So this is a nine by nine room. One, two, three, four. Wait, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I did not do this right. <laughs> One, two, three. Why did I only do three? Chat. Can I get some not swags in chat? One, two, three. Why did I only go three out? That makes no sense. <laughs> my counting is way off. Oh my gosh, I'm so rusty today. I apologize. That's so funny. All right, counting with drift. We're back, we're back. Okay, we're back. Whoa! Phantom Mickey with the $70 donation. Thank you so much. Okay, no more. I know I said not swag for the, uh, for how I messed up, but can I get some big swags in chat? Big, big swags in chat. Phantom Mickey, you are also Carrie as well, right? I'm, I'm like 99% sure this is just your other, uh, other YouTube. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Get big swags in chat. Swag. Of course, I'm at work and you're streaming. LOL. Have a wonderful stream and hope you have an ama hope you had an amazing vacay. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and I hope you also have a wonderful day at work. I'm sorry you can't like hang out on the stream today. It always makes me so sad. But yes, my vacation was also very, very wonderful. I had such a good time, except for the time where I, I ran into block down builds. That was like not so swag, not swag ran into him for a day it was just like not cool okay i'll fix this who would have thought that like me doing a spider spawner would be the most complicated thing in the world <laughs> it's literally just me making things complicated though because i always just mess up numbers and stuff like that but it's okay. You're here to help me, chat. You're here to help me. I don't know why I like miscounted that. <laughs> there we go. So one more block out on each side. And then I think two above the spawner is probably right. Right, chat? I'm pretty sure. We only need a space of two above and then I think um, three blocks below or something like that. Pretty sure. There we go. Big swag. Let's fill this in. Okay, I think this is looking a little bit better. Oh, jeez. How does one play Minecraft? Don't ask me, because I don't know. There we go. All right, chat. I think I think I fixed it. I think I fixed it. Okay, so. Oh, wait, no. One more side. One more side. <laughs> Three above, four below is the usual. Okay, so I'll do one more block above as well. Let's do that then. Thank you all for your wisdom in guiding me. There we go. See, I was thinking about using the co or stone bricks, but honestly, at this point, I was like, I feel like I might just keep it cobble because we're not really going to see much of it anyway. I don't mind it really being messy in terms of like right here because we're not really going to be looking at it, but I do want to decorate like the area around it. Whoops. Oh, geez. Yo, Charlie with the $7 donation. Thank you so much. Can I get some big swags in chat for Charlie? Gonna hang out for a bit while you get ready for work, then you're gonna head out after. Well, I hope you have a really good day at work and thank you so much for hanging out with us. I really appreciate that. And thank you, of course, for the donation. Big swags, big swags in chat. Y'all, when I went away, I had so much so much fish and chips so so many chips not fries i'm gonna i'm gonna call them chips now just for today though even though chips are potato chips but you know what i had so many fish and chips it was delicious i ate a lot of what else did i eat? i actually had a lot of blood pudding while i was there and i really really enjoyed it because i kept uh getting like full english breakfast and I think my favorite part out of the breakfast was definitely the blood pudding. 
I did try Haggis though. I wasn't really much of a fan of that as much as I was the blood pudding, but okay, did I go too far now? One, two, three, four. No, no, no. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. I did this right. Right, chat? Yeah. The blood pudding was very good. That was one of my favorite things. The fish and chips, obviously, so good. You just cannot get that great fish and chips in Canada, I find. Like, I'm sure there are, like, good establishments, but, like, it is kind of hard to find, like, really good stuff. Did I have many crisps? Actually, I did. I, we, um, kept buying Walker's crisps. I think one of my favorite ones were the, uh, the prawn chips. Those were really good. I love how it took, it's taking me like 20 minutes to fill out this square. This is hilarious. <laughs> it's fine. We're just vibing. We're just vibing. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm judging myself right now though. Oh my gosh. Enchanted fish and chips. Yo, I love this. Here comes the food talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here comes the food talk. Yeah. Some like, honestly, the food was just like very good it was especially because i found that like the weather was getting very cold like i was shocked as to like how cold it got in scotland i don't think i packed enough like warm clothing which is funny because i'm like coming from canada but i was like ah, it'll be fine it'll be fine didn't even pack a raincoat it rained like crazy when we met up with block and had to borrow his raincoat <laughs> he was like why didn't you pack one and i was like oh no i thought it would be fine I did not come prepared at all, but it was, it was good. I was just like shocked as to how if like when we left Canada, it was actually like pretty warm. And when we arrived in Scotland, like the next day, it was like colder than it was in Canada. It was wild. Is uh, Joey's only a thing across Canada? No, I don't know what Joey's is. What is that? Why did I see the message, but not the one about building the spawner room? Wait, what? What did I miss? What did I miss? Is fish and chips the same as cooked cod and baked potato? No, fish and chips is like fish and like French fries, kind of. Except like the fries are a little bit um like thicker. They're like steak cut, kind of. There's a place frequent called the Codfather Fish and Chips. That is literally the best name I've ever heard. That's amazing. Served on paper. I feel like it's got to be served on paper. Um, what part of Scotland did I visit? I went to Edinburgh. I don't know if I say the name right, but yeah, we were in Edinburgh uh, for, I think like three, four days or something like that. We didn't have that much time there, but it was honestly so incredibly beautiful. I really, really want to go back and visit more of like the highlands and stuff like that. It'd be very, very nice. Visiting Scotland without a raincoat, very brave. I know, I took a risk and you know what? It kind of paid off because the problem is I only pack carry-on so my like like I don't know that space is like prime real estate you know what I mean so I was like whatever I'll risk it if I really need a raincoat I'll buy one which is silly though I really should have brought one but Edinburgh <laughs> yo you just joined what are uh what am I making today we're making a spider spawner right now so we're just gonna do a cave spider spawner just to get some xp and I figured we could maybe decorate above it if we do like a bubble elevator or something like that. All right, so one, two, three above. Okay, I have the right dimensions now, right chat? I'm pretty sure I do. Let's double check with this. So one, two, three, four, yes. Okay, one, two, three, four, okay. One, two, three, four and one two three four all right counting with drift a success i think we've got it all i'm pretty sure we've got it all i think we're fine so oh there's a little piece right here come on oh, there we go this looks incredibly messy but i'm not i'm not too worried about it just because we're not going to see it we'll decorate where we'll be standing and stuff though so we have three above the spawner now i think what we need to do is carve out how much was it four below the spawner or something like that Yo, Mia, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing? 
All right. So we go one, two, three, four below, I think. Or three below, three below, right? It's three. Yeah, I think three should be fine. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, I'm carving out, I'm carving things out and then putting them back. This is perfect. This is the level in which we need to be on. Imagine I accidentally break the spawner. That is definitely something I would do. <laughs> definitely something I would do. Okay, this is the level that we need to stay on. And I think after that, it is good to go. I'm just gonna torch this just in case, cause I'm a little bit paranoid. I'm trying to think of like the other things that I um, ate while I was in England that like really, oh, I know exactly. Honestly, UK Indian food, incredible. Absolutely incredible. We had that, we had, um, I'm trying to think of what else. I don't remember. It all just feels like a blur now because the week went by so quickly, but also very slowly in some ways. The cave height has to be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh, we're at nine. What's going on here? Chat, what, what's going on here? One, two, three, four. All right, so we've got four below. Do I need to fill this one in then? One, two, three. Yes, I do need to fill this one in then. Okay, 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 I see, I see. <laughs> Building a spawner with drift has to be the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Some of this is gonna get knocked back out again anyway, but <laughs> this is probably pain and suffering for you all. You're probably like, Drift, what are you doing? Why are you doing this so wrong? Okay, I'm staying at the three block height and that's final, That's that's final. I don't know, does it really matter though? Does like the spawn, is it because they won't spawn in certain situations or something like that? Ooh, afternoon tea with scones and clotted cream. I did not have afternoon tea, although I would have been very down for that. Never got the chance to do it. That's definitely on my, my list for next time, for sure. All right, I think that's good. So it's three above and three below. That should be fine, right chat? I think we're fine. Yeah, famous last words. Do at least four or more below so light from the kill remote interfere with spawning. Okay, okay. All right, we'll, we'll go back to four. We'll go back to four. All right, we'll do this and then it should be okay. It, it should be fine. It'll be fine. And then they'll just fall in here and it won't be any issue and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yo, Jackie, what's going on? And Vapor, how you how y'all doing? Welcome in. Hope you're having a lovely Friday. So the tea is just a stack of sandwiches and dinner desserts. Afternoon tea is the best. I honestly really, really want to try. I heard it's like really fun too, though. This whole process is just hilarious. <laughs> I'm just like scrambling, especially I feel like me doing a spawner is not the best introduction back into Minecraft after a week off because I'm like, oh, what am I doing? I'm so lost. Yo, Rin, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing? 3.5 is the best. Okay, so you're saying I, I fill it with slabs then, huh? Are you slabs? <laughs> Welcome in. How you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day. How weird is it seeing people drive on the opposite end of the road? Yo, that was actually like really, really weird for me. I couldn't, I couldn't get past it. I was, I was actually legitimately, I was legitimately struggling because whenever I was like looking for like to cross the road, I couldn't, I couldn't understand which way the cars were coming. So at the end of the day, what I did was I ended up just doing what everybody else was doing because it was legitimately so confusing. And there were times where, um, when we met up with Block, we, they like drove us around and stuff. And when they were making turns, there were some points where I literally thought we were going to have a head on collision because the car was going the opposite way and it was confusing me. And I was like, oh, it was so funny. All right. So now I think we just dig out the two by something hole, two by three hole here and go and 
how many blocks is it like seven one two three four five six seven oh wait no that's not right that's not right because i need to do the water first isn't that right chat i need to do water first so then this would actually be there we go all right let's do the water thingy first I should probably make it should i make an infinite water source i feel like i should just for like the time being just in case i need it okay there we go excellent all right so let's fill the corners in like this boom boom look at that all right now we're good to go so from here, we break these blocks. I remember this part pretty well because of the, um, because of the skeleton spawners that I've done. This part is like very familiar to me. There we go. Now I think we do like the seven blocks in through here. I think we're on the right track. I think we're on the right track. In London, they, uh, there's so many roundabouts. Roundabouts actually very much confused me as well. You hit block and not Rito and I. Outrageous. Oh no, I'm sorry, Azzy. I honestly didn't realize you were from the UK as well, though, if I'm honest. Fast and the Furious Infinite Drift. <laughs> honestly, it was like, it was very jarring. Like, um, being driven around and then also like, it really is. Like, I find that if you're used to cars going one way, it is like very scary watching them go the other way. You're just like, I'm going to get decked. <laughs> Yo, Shroud, what's going on? And Myrna, welcome in. How you all doing? So nice to see you all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Okay, so I think that's good. Yo, I forgot. Okay. We actually did have one thing that we needed to make. And that is, why do I have mossy carpet? What? <laughs> Why do I have that in my inventory? What is that? Um, we actually need signs. Signs. That's what it is. Okay, I need to like... Mm -mm. Okay, I can just make some signs like this easily. Easy peasy chat. Easy peasy. Excellent. Okay. So from here, what I think I need to do is I need to do like the three signs here. Did not mean to hit that. Something like this. And then I think now I can probably break this one. I hope so. Okay, that's good. So the sign stops that. Ooh, have I heard of the new mob vote? Yeah, yes I have. What is everybody's feelings on the mob vote? How is everybody feeling about this? Because honestly, I'm, I'm th I think I'm going for the sniffy guy solely because it, it, there's like a chance of a new plant or something like that. But honestly, the mob vote for me, I'm like, I'm good with any of them. I'm just like totally not picky. Like it's cool that they add new things in, but like I'm always more excited for like the potential blocks and stuff like that with all the updates. The mob vote, like, honestly, I, I'll just go with whatever one seems, I guess, like, the coolest, but I'm not too, like, concerned about them. I don't know why. Ride or die for the sniffer. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying the sniffer because of the plant. If if we get the sniffy guy because of, and we get a plant out of it, I'm I'm totally here for it. That's what I'm thinking, too. I think that's the one I'm, I would personally go for, but, like, honestly, I would be down for any of them. Okay, so we've got our signs here. And then I think we gotta do the chest area here, right? Because the hoppers need to go behind, I think. So we go two and then we do... Oops. So then right here is where we add the chests, I believe. I'm pretty sure. 
I'm just gonna look at chat and if I see a bunch of no's, then it'll be like, <laughs> I'll know not to do it. I think right here though is where the chests go and then the hoppers behind. That is my guess. That is my educated guess. These moss carpets are ruining me, but at the same time, I feel like we should build with them. So then hoppers here, and then I'm guessing right here is where the, um, the walls go, right? We need to make a couple of walls. One, two, three. And then do I put water here after? Pretty sure. Okay. Pretty sure I can start like digging this area out too. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll like throw down a chest or something like that. Then I'm thinking we'll make like this into like a really cute little like AFK room with like a bunch of like deep slate and like moss and stuff like that. I'm very excited to decorate this. Not so much excited to make the actual spawner itself because anything that's like spawner related always stresses me out. But I think I think we're getting it. I think we're doing OK so far. All right. Uh, slabbies. I think we need slabs over top of, is it the hoppers? I'm pretty sure. I think. I would like to think I'm doing this right, but I am also very unsure in this moment. And then I think right here is where we do like more water. Is that right, chat? Does that look right? Hit yes, if that looks right. I think it is. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's okay though. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it right. Okay, okay, sweet. Okay, yes, 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 yes. And then I think after that, all we do is like block off like this area. Oh my gosh, I can't even get through. There we go. I mean, we're never going to know until we try, so we might as well just give it a shot. This looks pretty right, though. Like, this looks this looks kind of good. Kind of good. All right. I think we've got it. I think. And then all we need to do after that is we do need to place trap doors somewhere, but or not trap doors. Yes, trap doors. But I don't know if it's like here or like where they go. Maybe along here where the chests are so the spiders like cannot get through at all. I think something like that. I'm pretty sure that's okay, right, chat? I think I did it right. I think I did it right. All right, we're never gonna know until we like give it a shot. So I think maybe we should like tunnel through and break that thing and see what happens. Yeah, okay, cool. See, this is a little team effort, little team effort. Looks all right. All right, let's give it a shot then. I think we're ready. This one was surprisingly a lot easier to make than I realized. Um. I think also because the last uh, spawner I did, I did a zombie spawner once and I did the bubble elevator so they take damage on the way down, which honestly, in the early game, I much prefer that. It takes a little longer to like make, but it was so, so much easier to do. Um, Cause when you're like AFK in there, if you don't have a good sword or anything, having to like, just like constantly hit all of like the uh, mobs with like a really bad sword. Just ain't it, it ain't it. All right, let's give this a shot. I am actually terrified. Okay, final torch. Ah, ah. Okay, oh gosh, oh gosh. Did I get all of them? Oh wait, no, there's one more, there's one more. All right, all right, chat, let's do it. Ah, oh, ah, oh, no, 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 don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Uh, uh. Oh, that was scary. Ooh, okay, let's see, let's see. Ah, <laughs> it's working. <laughs> Look at you. You can't do anything about it. Look at this. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. It works. Oh, I can't get the XP though. Oh, there we go. I think it worked. Yeah, look at that, chat. Chat, it worked. <laughs> Let's go. Can I get some swags? Swags for all of, all of us though, because you all helped me with that. 
It took a while, but we finally got there. We finally, finally got there. Look at that, big swags. I feel like getting immediately po poisoned is on brand. I think so too. It, it has to happen with me, come on. It's not a drift stream without like something going mildly wrong. Honestly though, like the cave spider spawner is not that bad. Like somebody built one on um, Camp Cozy and I was using it a lot because I was like, you know what? Like this thing, you get some pretty good XP out of it, I feel. And there's nothing wrong with getting like some string and some spider eyes. Like that's good for potions and stuff like that too, right? Look at this. Except do I have light in there or something? Or is that just like residual from the torches? I think it's fine. Look at that. Very swag. I am so happy about that. So now comes the fun part, which means like we can just like decorate it and stuff like that. We should AFK here for maybe like a few moments, just like hang out and chill. But look at this. I was thinking also after we kind of like decorate this area for a bit, what we can do is um, maybe we should kind of like try to get our mending book today at least. I really want to get mending on all of my tools. So we can kind of do some village or stuff like that. I think today is mostly just like a like a base maintenance type of day where it's like we're getting stuff ready to kind of like improve improve our uh, little character and all of our stuff here. So it's kind of like less building but more like maintenance stuff. Yeah, those torch items will probably despawn soon, I think, right? Yeah, they'll be gone. You know what? This turned out really well, though. It's, it seems to be working just fine. I'm actually very, very happy with this. Let's go. All right. Look at that. Sweet. So I'm going to leave a little bit of this stuff down here for now. Maybe what we can do is kind of figure out where we are in relation to the world. I was thinking maybe we should build a bubble elevator or something like that because it would just be a lot easier um, for us to get in and out of this area. And maybe on top of that, we can build like a cute little house or something. Cause I feel like this uh, spider spawner, sorry, I was gonna say skelly. I think this thing is like really close to our windmill. I'm pretty sure. Cause it doesn't seem like it's too far away from the entrance of the cave. So I have a feeling it's around there, which is gonna be very ideal. Yeah, let's do a bubble elevator for sure. We might actually have all the tools that we need for that um, already. I need to find my way out of here though. I know we're close to... I know we're close to the cave entrance, but like I just don't know where exactly we are, like which way we came from, because I got kind of like turned around when we were building this thing. So we're gonna have to find our way out quickly. But I definitely think a bubble elevator is the way to go for sure. Ah, here we go. See? Perfect. Okay, so I'll just like mark this off. And then we will... Yeah. Then we'll make our bubble elevator. Okay, perfect. Maybe I can just mark this off with a bunch of cobble or something like that. Easy peasy. Oh, I blocked out my entrance though. Okay. I see, I see. I think if we go this way though, we'll we'll hit the cave. I'm pretty sure, like the cave entrance. I could just kind of dig my way up as well too. I'm like maybe I should just do that instead. Wait a second, all right. Second thought, second thought. All right, this is gonna be my process. I'm just gonna dig my way up to see where we land. Cause I wanna know where we are in relation to like the world as well. I don't know if this makes sense, but we're gonna do it anyway, you know? Yo, Alex, what's going on? Welcome back in. You got some sushi. You're ready for a chill evening with my stream. Oh, that's so nice. I hope you enjoy your sushi. Now you're making me crave it. And I'm like, now I want that for dinner. It's so, it is literally so easy to want sushi all the time. It's like something I constantly, constantly crave. Like that and pizza. I had pizza last night, but now I'm like regretting it in some ways. Cause like pizza is so, so salty sometimes. And I always wake up in the middle of the night, just like 
dying of thirst. I don't know if that happens to anybody else, but I'm like, oh gosh. It's always delicious in the moment, but then later on I regret that decision. Yo, Mythical, what's going on? How you doing? Oh, and Theo, what's going on? Welcome in, food talk. Ah! Always. Always. It's not a drift stream without food talk. Let's be real now. Let's move this over quickly. Any tips for starting a new file? Um, You've got all that you can out of your world, but starting a new one seems so daunting. Honestly, I... I really, really love starting new worlds. I totally see how it's daunting because like having to get all of like the diamonds and all that stuff is like, can be like really tedious. But I like, I kind of approach new worlds in a sense where it's like, just take all the time you need with the early game stuff. Like there's no issue if you're working with just iron for a while, as long as you don't mind. Um, I would say like, don't set like crazy goals for, oh my gosh, that's so scary. I would say like don't set like unattainable goals in the beginning and be like oh i need this right away i need that right away just take your time with it and maybe it'll seem a little bit less daunting you know all right so we're right here on this little area which is actually very ideal that is not bad at all we could build like a cute little house or something along here i'm not sure exactly what yet Ooh, rain yay but this is um this is a lot better than having it like far, far away. I'm kind of stoked about that. Ooh, it's thunder. Oh, geez. I should probably sleep. I don't want anything to catch on fire. I would be devastated. All right, let's go to bed really quickly, chat. Yo, Katie, what's going on? Welcome in. I hope you had a good class today. Ever hear of Kenny Rogers? They make really good roasted chicken and their burritos are next level. I have not heard of them. I'm not sure that's in Canada. You're heading out for a bit to eat lunch uh, with your partner, but you'll be back. Okay, Haley, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for popping in. All right, chat. Now what I need is components to make a bubble elevator. Um, What exactly do does one need for a bubble elevator? What do I, what does one need? Ooh, you're going to Canada next year. Nice. Honestly, there are like Canada is so vastly different in like terms of landscape all around. It's like the same thing with the States because it's so big. There's like so many different types of terrain, but I haven't been to the East Coast. I heard it's like an incredibly beautiful and like very good seafood. I've been to the West Coast before. The mountains are just like absolutely stunning. Um, I live central though, and honestly, I love it. It's it's great. Yo, Star, what's going on? How you doing? All I need is soul sand and kelp. Okay, perfect. That reaches all the way up. So I put the soul sand at the bottom of the elevator, right? And then the kelp, I build like a stream of kelp all the way up from what I remember. Soul sand, got it. I'll grab a couple just in case. I think we have kelp somewhere, but if not, we literally have an ocean right next to us. Maybe I'll just grab some from there. So with the bubble elevator, do I, um, I'll go over so I can explain what I mean. Do I fill the entire area with water first, put the soul sand down, and then I can like, uh, put the kelp up or something like that? So like, let's say like I dig this down. Do I fill this with water while I'm digging down? And then we put the soul sand at the bottom and the kelp and then break it and it should be okay. And then we also need a sign, right? I think so. Yo, Pori, what's going on? How are you doing? So nice to see you. Oh, yes, the rainbow. Oh, it's gone now, but after it rains, there's usually a rainbow because I've switched over to using complimentary shaders, which I'm really happy with, by the way. I, re I really, really like it. After I did some tweaking with it, it's been very, very nice. I'm actually not sure I have kelp, to be honest. I'm going to have to go searching for some very quickly. Uh-oh. Look at that organization. I love it. Thank you. It's all thanks to you all because you pushed me because 
there was that one day I was like low key embarrassed about it. I was like, oh no. And you were all like, it's bad. Drift, it's bad. And you know what? I was like, I agree. It's bad. I remember why we don't have boats. Remember all of the villagers that we dealt with? And then there was that one, like runaway villager. I think he's like still off in the mountain somewhere. I don't know where he went. He's just like, he's just like mountain man now, you know? Okay, I'm on this. I'm on the uh, hunt for kelp. I'm not sure I have any. Cause like I don't know. I don't remember. I'm like, did I go into an ocean area or no? Let's see. This is all just like seagrass and stuff like that. Hmm. There's got to be some around here though. I'm assuming there's no kelp because we're not technically in an ocean or something. So you put water on top, let the water go down and put a soul sand uh, down and put all the kelp. And then we just need to get a sign so it doesn't like, like the water doesn't flood with everything. You gotta head to work. You'll catch the rest of the VOD after. Good to catch a stream for the first time. Oh, so nice to have you here, Charlie. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful day. You're tired after a long week of work. Tonight's agenda involves watching the stream and making some jewelry. Oh, nice. What what type of jewelry are you making? That's awesome. And it sounds very, very relaxing. Start to what sounds like a good weekend. I can make kelp? How? What? I didn't know you could make it. I, I did not know that. How do you make kelp? What am I doing going around rivers for no reason? That's awesome. All right, let's see. Is it in my little like crafting thing? Let's see. Kelp. Oh no, it's not. All right, we're on the hunt for kelp. Yeah, I think I've got to go to an ocean. I don't know if I have any back at home though. I'm actually unsure. Ooh, that's a, that's a cute horse. Oh, you can only grow it from other kelp. Okay, I see. I see. We might have to go into the ocean area because I'm not sure I have any, to be honest. Honestly, that's okay, though. I'm actually, like, kind of low-key enjoying boating around this area because it's actually very pretty. I still love this seed. I really love it. All right, we'll see you later, Shroud. Have a good day. We have like quite a few villages around us as well, which is wild. Yeah, I'm going to double check to make sure I don't have like I um actually don't have kelp, but I'm not sure I do. Also, now I'm kind of lost. Oh wait, no, I'm not. I think our area is around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I see our bamboo because now I am an expert at scaffolding. Thanks to Azzy. <laughs> You've been making some wire jewelry for the last bit. The last thing you made was a silver play plated wire heart pendant, which can be found in the Kickback Club Discord. Yo, I'm going to check it out later. That's awesome. I think if I could like choose kind of like a hobby to get into, which I really should. I, I mean, I should get back into playing guitar, but like I would love to get like learn how to make jewelry or something like that. I feel like it would be really, really fun. All right, let's double check to make sure that we don't have like kelp hanging around somewhere. I'm not sure that we do, maybe. Okay, under plants. If we have it here, chat, I'm gonna freak. Oh wait, no, we don't. We have sea pickles because I thought that picking up a bunch of sea pickles when we were in the ocean was a lot more valuable than picking up <laughs> a bunch of kelp. <laughs> don't ask me why. Honestly, I know why because it's fun to decorate with, but like, come on, come on. I should have brought the kelp back. What's wrong with me? <laughs> oh no. The decisions I make on behalf of all of us chat is just like, <laughs> Why? Why did I do that? 
That's okay, we can go get some really quickly. I know where there's an ocean nearby. Yeah, I think we just gotta go grab some really quickly and then you're right, we can just plant it in the water and grow it. Uh, do I have a Discord server? So me and Blockdown Builds have a Discord together called the Kickback Club. And that's where everybody hangs out. It's like a Minecraft building community. And it's like super chill vibes. And there's info on like how to access like our server and all that stuff. Definitely, definitely check it out. We always love seeing new faces there. Right now we actually do have a build competition going on. I don't know if everybody saw that. Um, I made an announcement yesterday on the Discord and I think on Twitter, we're doing a spooky build competition if uh anybody wants to join i'm really really excited about that one because i love halloween i don't know how you all feel about halloween but like halloween's a vibe for me i think in the next week i'm gonna start watching all of my favorite halloween movies because it's it takes like a solid month to get through them you know <gasps> there's the villager there he is look and he's still what what's what profession is it when you have a monocle he's still smart man very smart man <laughs> I think he's like the cartographer or something. He still has not changed his profession or anything. Check my Discord DMs after stream. Okay. With the heart. I, I don't know why, but the heart makes it sound more sus, Mitch. But I will. I will. <laughs> oh, gosh. Why am I never talking about horror movies with you? Oh, do you talk about them a lot in the Discord? Honestly, like I'm, they're one of my favorite types of movies. I don't watch them too much outside of like, ow, Halloween, just because I like to save them all for October. Cause it's just genuinely really fun to kind of like cuddle up on the couch, watch some scary movies. The heart is so sus, but you've been using the heart so much that you're spamming it. I, I kind of do that with a, a lot of emotes, I find. I just like get really into using certain emotes, even completely out of context. And then I just like, it just becomes spammy at that point. If anybody's wondering why I'm going this way, I'm just like 90% sure our ocean is over here, I think. Actually, I could probably just go there. There's water right there. I thought it cut off. There's gotta be kelp around. I'm gonna do the jump. Whoop. Fun. Okay, I should probably sleep too. All right, we'll see you later, Star. Thank you so much for hanging out and I hope you have a wonderful day. Oops, did not mean to put a torch in there. Let's sleep really quickly because I am scared. The original Halloween movie was great. Second, okay. Yeah, I like I like the original Halloween movie. That one's a really good one. Um, second one, I don't think I've actually watched though. I don't really think I've watched many of the sequels. Take some seagrass, put it in your crafting table. That way you get kelp. Really? Is that possible? Or is this a troll? Am I being? No way. Really? Let's try. Let's try. I'm I'm curious now. Let's see. I don't I don't think I don't think this is going to work. Are you, are you just messing with me? No, it didn't work. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go get some kelp. You can't deny John Car Carpenter. Yep. Yep, agreed. Agreed. You're putting the original Nightmare on Elm Street on a uh, cinema you work in for the next week. Oh, seeing like old, old horror movies in theaters would be super, super fun. I think I did that um, a couple of years back. Oh, there's kelp. There's kelp. Yes, let's go. Um, I think I watched The Shining in theaters and it was actually really, really good. It was such a good time. It's just like such a different experience watching it on a big screen, especially with like all of like the surround sound and stuff like that. Whoa, is that a shipwreck? Are you for real? What? I need like a door or something so I don't. Ooh, I want to explore it though. I don't want to drown, but I don't, I can't craft a door yet. Let's see. I feel like this is going to be bad news if I do this. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, look at that. Okay, okay, I'm going back up. I'm going back up. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
Well, 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 looky here. Look at what we've got. Let's see. There's a bunch of iron in there too, which is kind of sweet. There must be a buried treasure map or something though. Usually these, ah! These have like two chests, I'm pretty sure, right? I'm 99% sure. I feel like it would be at the top part here though. All right, we'll see you later, Nap Ninja. Thank you so much for hanging out. You went to see Hocus Pocus at this beautiful garden in the field. Yo, that would be a great viewing experience. Yo, you know what else is actually like super fun? Uh, the drive-in. We saw Hocus Pocus at the drive-in, I think it was last year, and it was incredible. It was really cold though. That was like the one thing we had to bring like a ton of blankets. Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, don't, don't, no, I'm not. I didn't eat anything. All right, back to the boat for safety and chat. Guess what we got? Guess what we got? We got a buried treasure map. That I I cut it close on that one, didn't I, chat? I cut it a little bit close. I won't be so reckless next time. I apologize. <laughs> All right, let's eat something. You told me about the hocus pocus thing. The other group chat member made fun of me. She did. You're right. She did. I'm sorry I didn't defend you in that moment. I apologize. <laughs> it's nice to be watching streams again. You you could say I've been Porygon for a while. It's so nice to be back. I've honestly, I really, really missed you all a lot. Like it was, like I said, I had like an amazing vacation, but like very, very nice to be back as well. Okay, before I forget, let's get a little bit more kelp because like, I heard a dolphin. That was scary. Are the dolphins supposed to be friendly? Because like with them pushing me around and stuff, like I know they add speed, but I feel like it's almost threatening. You know what I mean? It's a little bit threatening in some ways. <laughs> My Minecraft streams are awesome. Oh, I'm so happy you all enjoy them. Honestly, it's just like such a fun vibe. I know we get off topic a lot and I know like I stray a lot when we're building and stuff like that, but it's still so, so fun. They're friendly. I know, but like the dolphins, like it's like, they're just like so aggressively friendly that it's like scary, you know? I'm like, are you like, why are you pushing me? Are you trying to hurt me? Ooh, they're friendly unless you hit one of them. I've never tried, never will, cause I'd feel really bad, but like, interesting. Okay, where are we going with this buried treasure? I feel like it's more so this way. Cause I'm not moving on this map. I'm not moving at all. Maybe over this way? What? What is going on? What is this? Why aren't we moving at all, chat? You always think they're sharks at first. Like, yeah, it's like, I know they're not sharks in Minecraft, but like also what if though? What if one of them ends up being a shark? Why is this not moving? Northwest, okay. Let's go, let's see. We're going south, north, northwest, okay. Yeah, let's try, let's try out this way a bit. I feel like that would make the most sense too. Cause like on the opposite direction, there's a lot of shoreline instead. Gotta start moving soon, I think. Still nothing. Hmm. I feel like usually they're very close to the shipwrecks. That's why I'm like, what? where are we going? Oh, here we go. We're starting to move. Chat, we're starting to move. We've, we've got movement. We've got movement. Okay. Maybe if we keep going this way, I think. B thinks it's around here. It's either this way or it's the opposite way then. Nah, opposite way. I feel like I'm so bad with the maps in this game. The map mechanics is like something that always, always gets me. 
What? Okay. Now I'm confused. Because we're moving this way. But we're not moving, like, up. What is going on here? What? Now go north? Okay, let's try going north. Southwest, north. Still going west? What? Okay, let's try going more this way. Hmm. Maps. Who would have thought? Very confusing. This one feels like it's like extremely far away. Are they usually this far? Here we go, here we go. Thank you, yes. Okay, here we go. It's starting to fill in, so that's a good sign, right? That's a good sign. Okay, okay. What is that? Is that a village? Wait, what? Oh no, that's a mushroom, that's a mushroom. False alarm. That looks pretty cool though. All right, let's get in this hand so we can see properly. I feel like this is probably the right way, right? Yes, here we go. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. Right around here. Maps are always like the most distracting thing in the world. <laughs> it looked like a village. It looked like one of the Savannah villages, you know what I mean? But yeah, I find like finding buried treasure is just like the longest detour of your life. But at the same time, it's like you can't not do it, you know? Like, what if there's some good treasure? Come on. Come on. Here we go. It's got to be something around here. Uh, oh no. I think it's probably around here, right? I'm guessing. There we go. Must be getting close, I hope. Come on. Come on. Come on, please. Probably under one of these. <laughs> I'm so bad at spotting the treasure. I've got to be close, right, chat? Right? I don't think it goes under sandstone. Like, it's going to be under the sand, I think, right? I'm pretty sure. A mushroom village. Could you imagine if there was a mushroom village? That would be awesome. I think it would look super cute. I feel like Dark Forest Village would be like super fantasy vibes. I could get behind that. And like a Birch Forest Village would be like super cottage core and really cute. All right, I'm starting to get a little bit skeptical of this stuff. Ooh. And it's nighttime now. Okay, I gotta sleep quickly. I gotta sleep. Getting scared. Uh, where's my bed? There it is. Use TNT for treasure hunting. Honestly, I feel like that's the vibe. That's the vibe. Okay, a bit more forward. Let's try that. Right around. Okay, let's try here. The oh! That's it. That's it. There we go. We got it. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Bunch of fish. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. More iron. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ooh. Prismarine crystals. Very nice. Iron sword. Pff, don't need that anymore. Don't need it anymore. We got ourselves a fancy, fancy regular sword. I think we're good. Uh, Heart of the sea. I guess I'll take that as well. Why not? And... Potion of water breathing, which would have been useful 10 minutes ago, but not anymore. Okay, I think that's pretty good. That's that's not bad. That's not bad. Pretty good treasure haul. If I do say so myself. So we went on a mission for kelp, but instead we came out of that finding a bunch of diamonds and all of that stuff, which is pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Sweet. I'm into it. 
Uh, let's grab our boat and let's head home. I think we've got more than enough kelp and like you all said, we can grow it now, so. I don't, I still don't fully understand what Heart of the Sea does and same with, what would Prismarine Crystals do? What do those do for us? Cause I know that Prismarine, is that the block that is like the sea lantern block or no? Um, Nautilus, not, how do you say it? Nautilus shells? I don't think I have one in this world yet. I did fish, or maybe I did, I don't know. No, I haven't been fishing here. I have them in my other world. I don't know what those are used for either. I just like using them in item frames because they're pretty. <laughs> You know what? We actually could have made a chest boat here. That would have been a good call for sure. I forget that this river is actually very well connected along this end. Could have done it for sure. Prismarine crystals can be turned into the block and then heart of the sea is to make that thing underwater that lets you breathe. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Yeah, I really like that sea lantern block. I think it's one of my favorite ones. Conduit, that's what it is. It's a conduit. Ah! Yo, Carrie, what's going on with the $28 donation? Thank you so much. Can I get some big swags in chat for Carrie, aka Phantom Mickey? Howdy, on my lunch break, it's Carrie. Forgot to change my name. No worries, Carrie. I hope you're having a wonderful day at work and thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Big swags for Carrie. Swag, swag. Okay, that was actually like surprisingly very close. Like this isn't too far from our base, which is pretty ideal. I still love the fact that we have like tons of planes around us because it's just like, pretty easy for us to like expand and build out towards here. Um, I think what we're gonna do after the spider spawner though, is I think we're gonna build maybe, actually no, no, we'll save the villager breeder for another day, but I'm gonna try to at least get the mending book. I think we'll have enough, like we have so many emeralds right now because of how much we traded. I went wild the other day with the Fletchers cause I was so excited. <laughs> it was so fun. Okay. Let's drop our stuff off really quickly so I have a clear inventory. Oh, and let's plant some of this kelp so we actually have more. Just in case. I, I can probably plant it anywhere in this ocean, right? I think so. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. That should be good. Hopefully that'll grow. Can you bone meal things like kelp? I feel like you can't. Work is work. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Overcast weather uh, causes a slow day, which is appreciated. Yeah, exactly. At least at least you got that. Like the weather may not be the greatest, but it just makes it a little bit more chill for you. How was Scotland? Scotland was incredible. So we did Scotland for a couple of days and then we took the train down to London, um, spent a couple of days there. Then we met up with... Uh, uh, block and that was super super fun went out for dinner we hung out uh and then we went home i think after that i think we had like a couple days in london a day trip outside of london and then we went back in london for one more night i love that city though it's so fun and honestly like it's just like amazing how well connect connected that city is like through the tube like i'm jealous of that Oh, we can bone meal kelp. Okay, sweet. Like honestly in um in Toronto, like Toronto and stuff is like I don't know, we have like a subway system and all that stuff, but it's just like not the same, not to the extent that London has. I find London is very very well connected. It's so easy to get everywhere it feels. I love it. I'm just like throwing random stuff around at this point. I don't know where what goes where anymore. I have to reorganize my storage a little bit, I think. That's okay though. Oh no, not these again. Get out, get out. The, yeah, the tube.
Goodbye, bots. I got him. Got him. All right, I think we can put some of this iron away as well. But yeah, honestly, like it's it's funny. As soon as I, I left London, it's like I'm looking forward to going back again. It just never feels like long enough of a trip. Like I was excited to go home because it's like at the end of a trip, I find I always miss my bed and like I miss my cat and all that stuff. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm excited to like come back right away. The only thing that I'll say that I really don't like about traveling is I'm not a great flyer. And by not great, I mean, I'm actually terrible. Like I'm, I have a very bad fear of flying. <laughs> it's, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's just like every little thing. I'm just like, oh no, like something's wrong. Like if there's like one tiny little noise and it's just like during takeoff and landing, I have like very clammy hands and I'm like freaking out. Once we're in the air, like I'm a lot better, but it's still very hard for me. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but Build 35 blocks high, then holding with W and space, jump down before landing and hold shift. I don't think I'll be doing that. I don't think I will. <laughs> I don't think I will. All right, we'll see you later, Star. Thank you so much for hanging out. Okay, so what I'm thinking is like, this is the point where we have to like make our little elevator thing. I'm like, do I dig down from here while like dumping water and then just put like the soul sand and sign at the bottom? I feel like that would work, right? Like, let's say here, well, I'll show you what I mean by this. So like I put water here and then I start digging down or is that just going to be like an issue for me? Because then I feel like it would be easy to get the soul sand and then the kelp and all that stuff. Or could that cause problems? I might drown? Okay. That's what I kind of thought. What's the best way to do it then? Do I like... See, that's what always confuses me about the, the kelp thing. Like, do I just like build the hole or whatever? Dig the hole down again? And then like do the kelp at the bottom? Or like, how do I, how do I go about doing this? Usually dig up. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to like build two holes anyway right because like one's gonna be oh lapis one is gonna be like uh one for falling and then i could put water at the bottom and then the other one's gonna be for climbing i believe except now i don't remember how far it went down uh oh that's okay though i can just like dig to see yeah Okay, I can hear the spider spawner, so that's a good sign. Okay, I need to go like three more down. All right, all right. This part always confuses me. I'm like, how do I make this the most efficient? So I have one for going up and one for going down. I feel like here is where we can like fall into, except I kind of want to decorate all this stuff too. Like I don't really want this just to be like diorite and stone and stuff like that. I feel like deep slate would look the best. Okay. Oh, hello. So many here. Nice to see you. Do you have gifts for me? And by gifts, I mean XP. Yes, you do. Oh, this is great. This is so good. That like took no time at all to make. Minus like me messing up. Like that can be done in like five minutes. It's crazy. Dig up, put the water in at the top and let it go all the way down. Okay. But if you're digging up, how do you get that far up without having to put blocks up again? I am so confused. <laughs> okay, I'll figure this out. I'll figure this out. Oh, wait, I think I know. I think I get it. No, I don't. Oh, chat, I am so confused right now. Okay, I really need to think about this for a second because I'm like, if I dig up, oh, geez, okay drifts in thought mode you just dig all the way up 
Use ladders, get up and down that way. Okay, that makes sense. Now, now you're now now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay, thank you. All right, let's make a bunch of ladders. Oops, why did I do that? These spiders are just like really going wild, you know? Don't worry, my friends. Don't worry, my friends. Don't worry. I feel like this is highly efficient. I'm really into this. Like you're you're getting pretty decent XP from this. I feel like it's a lot more than what I got from my um zombie XP farm on my Let's Play series for sure. Okay, I'm just gonna like go up this way again. Cause I wanna also get like a stone cutter and stuff like that. I wanna be able to um let's see, I wanna be able to decorate this area as well. I don't think I want this all stone, but then also I'm like, is that a lot of work to make this entire thing out of like deep slate? You know what I mean? I feel like that's just like a little bit too extra. It would just require a lot of like tunneling and stuff like that. I can ladder up, place a water source. Oh, and then the ladder holds it up and break the ladders as you go down. Okay, I think I understand. I think I understand. All right, let's do this. Okay, I think I need a stone cutter and I need some deep slate really quickly. And then we're good to go. This is like the hopper situation all over again. Remember when you all tried to like tell me about the sideways hopper and I was like, I don't get it. And now I do. I do now. That was so funny. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm the type of person though, where it's like, for me, reading things, like comprehending through reading is very hard for me. It's like, I, I'm much better like visually. Like I have to watch something to understand it instead of like reading about it. I'm definitely more of a visual learner for sure. Okay, do I have a stone cutter in here? I should. Oh, I don't. Fancy that, huh? How do we make one? Oh, we need regular stone, okay. Which I am all out of, look at that. All right, let's gather just a little bit here. I think we just needed three. And then we will make our stone cutter so I can decorate everything all fancy. All right, chat, what do you think? Do you think we also spend the time to decorate like the tunnels going up and down? Or do you think that's not worth it? You're a visual learner too, Ruby? Yeah, it's, it's very difficult for me to read something and understand it right away. Definitely, definitely much easier for like like a visual tutorial, if you show me once, I'm like, okay, got it, that's easy. But like, if you were to write it out, I'd be like, I have no idea. Oh yeah, I used the stone cutters at the sawmill. Yes, yes, yes. That's what it is. Okay. Where, where did, where'd these holes go? What? Oh, there they are. If I fall into this, I'm... Oh, wait, no, there's water at the bottom. Okay, chat. Do we spend the time to, like, literally dig around both of those and fill it with deep slate? Is it worth our time? Or do we just, like, kind of, like, decorate a couple blocks here, like, up to the dirt, and then just let it be? What do you all think? Because I'll do either, but I just... I don't know. I don't know if it's, like, too much of a waste of time to be super picky and, like, remove all of this. You say yes? Okay. No, not worth it? Okay, okay. I'm gonna put out a poll. I'm gonna put out a poll. Uh, where is the poll button? Should we decorate what is this? The entrance with deep slate. Yes or no? 
everything else will be like filled in with deep slate and stuff like that but i just don't know if it's worth it to go all the way down and do that oof we got yes so far i feel like we are all the type of people to be like on we'll notice it on the way down if it's you, you'll you decorate the whole tunnel if it's something you're going to be using. See, that's what I'm thinking too, Azzy. Like, I feel like this is going to be something that we're going to be using for a while. So we kind of might as well, right? And it doesn't have to be something like super textured, but at least if we do like, let's say, a bunch of deep slate, then we'll be good. What I need to do though is I need to get like probably a couple more stacks of deep slate. I think I have some already ready to go by the... um the sawmill i'm pretty sure i had extra deep slate there it'll take a bit longer but i think it'll be worth it because i i swear like i'll every time on the way down to the uh the spawner i'll just be looking at it right away and I'll, i won't be able to like not think about it There we go. Yes. Oops. No, we need the soul sand. We need that. That's very important. Perfect. We have tons of deep slate. Um, can you send me a link that about building the bubble tunnel on Kickback Club Larry? Yes! 100 percent Do it for sure. Uh put it in uh Minecraft tips and tricks in that section. I'll definitely look at it later. Yeah, I think I think it'll drive me nuts if I don't do it too. It's just one of those things, right? Imagine using those frog lights they added in the uh, with the frogs. Okay, that would be super cool. We need to try that out soon, actually. I don't think I've done anything 119 related. I don't know why. I just like have not gotten around to it yet. All right, chat. You're you're here to like. You're always agreeing with me, you know, and I appreciate it. Cause I I think I knew in my heart that the answer to this was yes. But I just like, I didn't want to waste your time either. Cause I'm like, I know this is going to take a while. Okay. It'll be a vibe though. It'll look good for sure. Can do, I think I'm, I'm just thinking like a mix of cobbled deep slate and regular deep slate and then it'll all be good. All right, I'm gonna go grab some actual water now that I'm done with my iced tea. Um, we're gonna go for a quick little break. I'll be back in literally like, I don't know, like a couple minutes, all right? I'll be back soon.
Hello, I'm back. Your daughter loves to try to find me behind the clouds in my interval car. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. That's adorable. So sweet. All right, we back. Time to get to work on this thing. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is I can. OK, there it is. I can never find where these actually are. <laughs> I did a good job of hiding them, I guess. exactly what we're gonna build yet with this but also before we go down or before we do this I want to make sure this is like the right spot I just want to make sure like this is actually where I want to put put them ladders feel very slow I think this is good because like really this doesn't need to be that large of a space the only thing is like it's gonna go right here yeah that should be fine and then we can kind of expand out this way if we want to yeah that'll be fine okay yeah 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 that's all good All right, let's start this long task of adding deep sleep because all of us, all of us want it. <laughs> I'm so happy you all said yes, 84%. I think that's like one of like, we've, that's a, one of the things that we've agreed on most so far. That's really funny. I'm still trying to like think of the best way to do this. Maybe from, honestly, I'm thinking just like digging down and then pillaring up with deep slate. That's probably the best bet. Yeah, this makes the most sense. Oh yeah, that's easy peasy. And we'll kind of like mix it up. We'll do like a little bit of cobble deep slate as well. This will take no time at all. No time at all, no sweat. There we go. Easy peasy. Am I gonna make a water elevator? Yes, definitely. Definitely gonna make a water elevator for this. I think it'll just be like the easiest form. And then afterwards, I just wanna build like a cute little house on top or something like that. Just to make like, just to signify that this is like a cute little home. I'm thinking that should be enough space away from like the, uh, the windmill. If we have like a cute little hut here or something like that, maybe we can expand the land out um, a little bit further here and kind of build it more towards like the shoreline. It's in a little bit of an awkward spot, but I, I still like it. I think I think it'll be good. The landslidiest landslide boat that ever landslid. Oh, totally. I can't believe we all just like fully agreed to that. We were like, yep, it's got to be that. An outhouse. Honestly, I'm like, should it be an outhouse? I feel like maybe yes. Because it just, it only feels right. I don't know why. Because we don't really need that big of a structure. I'm like, what if we just do an outhouse then? It kind of fits in with like the farm theme that we have going on. Like every farm, I mean, not every farm, but most farms probably have outhouses, I'm guessing. Or I was like, you know what else we could do? We could make like a cute little well or something that's secretly... Secretly a little drop point. That'd be kind of cute too. It does fit the rural life, totally. Vertical slabs would be nice. You want thin walls? Yo. Vertical slabs would be awesome. Totally awesome. Like walls kind of fill that void, but not 
really you know what i mean and like i guess i can make by with like trap doors and stuff like that but it's just i just feel like it's not the same i would love to see something like vertical slabs and honestly i still would love to see more options for like terracotta like having slab versions stair versions stuff like that because i really really love building with terracotta You like the well idea? Yeah, I feel like the well would be kind of cool. It'd be like kind of unique. It would just have to be like a little bit bigger and we'd have to like somehow fit in a secret entrance, but I think we could do that. There we go. Okay, so we've got one side like nearly done. This is going very well, I must say. Yeah, I would, yeah, I agree. Slabs and like stairs of like anything that's like realistic. Like I, I could see them saying no to like dirt stairs, but I think like versions of that for like every type of block would be so nice. That's a big yes for me too. Big yes. It's a well thought out idea. Ooh, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Yo, bro, what's going on? I hope you're having a wonderful day as well. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Okay, one side done. Am I gonna need more deep slate? I think I will. I think I will. We're gonna have to drop off some more resources for sure. Over here, I'm running out of inventory space and then we'll just bop into the cave. I think I have like a little area down there that I was kind of like mining deep slate at, so we're good to go. Yeah, the walls are definitely tricky. Like if you don't, they don't fully attach to things correct. So it's just like, sometimes they're just rendered useless, but they are good sometimes though. Let's get all this stuff away, stuff that we don't really need. Uh, We might still need the ladders, huh? I don't think we need all of this spruce anymore. Look at me go, so, so proud. Organization at its finest, which I will not be doing on Bloodlines. So Block cannot steal my stuff because no, absolutely not. I don't think we really need these spruce slabs anymore either, really. Uh, fencing, fencing. You go here. Okay, I think that's pretty much good. Let's go. Yo, Haley, welcome back. How you doing? How was your lunch? Um, so, so far, oh, I don't know if you were actually here for it. We found a buried treasure while we were getting kelp. Um, and now we are currently kind of decorating around the entrance to our uh, spider spawner. Just trying to make that look nice. We debated it. Well, I debated it for a couple minutes. Thinking, hmm, do I want to do that? And the answer was yes, definitely. Because I appreciate that we're all picky enough that like it all has to be decorated. I didn't want to be flying past like a bunch of like stone and like lapis and stuff. <laughs> ah! I don't think there's water at the bottom of this, so I need to be careful. No, there's not. Ah! Ooh. Ow. Yeah, I'll grab some of this tough, why not? And we definitely need to get our mending book for sure. For sure. Because my tools are already starting to go and I'm like, ooh, no, 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 no. That would be bad news. I would be so sad. Always say yes to some extra iron. Why not? Probably grab like at least like another stack in a bit. Honestly, even more than that, I would say, because we're going to have to decorate the whole um, interior near the spider spawner as well. And I think I want it mostly to be deep slate. It's got like kind of like spooky vibes, you know? Yo, welcome back, Vapor. What's going on? Organizing is the worst, yo. 
I actually agree. I hate doing it. It stresses me out, especially because like even when I open up this inventory, I can never like fully see what I have. Like shears don't exist to me in my inventory. Don't know why. Can never find them in the moment. So I end up like leaving stuff in my inventory that's not necessary. It's awful. I stayed consistent with that storage organization. So happy for you. Oh, thank you. Honestly, though, like it's wild how bad it was. It was so bad. But you all kicked me into gear and helped me out with that. So I appreciate it. Who likes Big Hero 6? I love that movie, except it's like so sad that I don't really watch it that much because I'm like, I have to be like in the mood for it, you know? Otherwise I'm just like, it's too much. I'm kind of like hoping that while we're digging out this deep slate, we run into just like a couple diamonds. That'd be nice. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? You never know. Please let me help you organize. I always do uh, when your partner, you and your partner play Minecraft is one of your favorite things. I appreciate that, that you have like one who likes the organization and then the other just like probably just goes and collects everything. That is very, very sweet. If I could have people on the single player world just to organize my stuff, totally, totally would. <laughs> Yo, Nona, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing? Can I say you're such a vibe? Also, hi, I'm new. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm glad you're finding this stream chill. I have missed this so much while I was gone. It's always such a vibe to hang out with you all. Oh, yes. Yes, we got it. We got it. Woo! Yep. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Why is it always so exciting to find diamonds? Like, even if you have like 14 stacks at home, like, it's never not exciting. Oh, yes. I do have, yeah, fortune. I do have fortune on it. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. That was swag. That was awesome. <laughs> Yippee, diamond. You know what's up, big tiny duck. Every time I say your name, Big Tiny Duck, I think of like big shiny tunes. Remember that like those CDs that you could get with all of like the top hits. So it would have like Backstreet Boys and Spice Girls on it. That's like a mega throwback. And I think it's like Canadian specific too. Big shiny tunes. Big Tiny Duck 10. Yes, exactly. There was like tons and tons of those like versions. There's like big shiny tunes, 25 Christmas version. When I'm holding the pickaxe in my hand, why doesn't it look enchanted? It doesn't. You're right. What? It actually doesn't. I don't know why. You know what? I feel like it might be something that I did in my complimentary settings. Does the shovel? No, it doesn't. It must be. I must have turned something off in my complimentary uh, settings by accident and turned off the glow. I'm gonna have to fix that. You're totally right. That's been like kind of tripping me up. That's why I had to double check to make sure it was enchanted. Interesting. Yeah, I think it's the shaders. I think I um I accidentally turned something off because I've been really messing around with the complimentary shaders to get to them to like how I like. And it was um probably something that I turned off in the process. Okay, I think that should be enough deep slate. I think we should be good to go. We. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I don't know why this is fun. Hello. All right, going on up. I think that should be more than enough deep slate. <laughs> Imagine you stream on this world, walk out the door and the villager is there saying, Hi, my name is Connor. I'm here to organize for you. Sent by Village Life. Honestly, I wish that was a game mechanic. I would totally welcome it. The first time a villager like ever actually like speaks, it's like, Hey, I'm Connor. <laughs> what? Yo, Kimberly, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing? This 
cave has actually like come in handy. I love it. Oof, my fortune pickaxe is already like halfway, halfway gone. Not looking good, chat, not looking good. We definitely need to, um, we need to upgrade soon and get mending on it for sure. But, 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 this is what the skeleton, our skeleton, I keep saying skeleton, this is what the spider spawner's for, it's gonna help us with all that stuff for sure. What, what enchanty is in my pickaxe? So for this one, I have, um, unbreaking fortune and efficiency we want to get mending on it as well and then i have one as well that's uh silk touch and oh only i'm breaking really oh yeah i forgot that one's like extremely slow forgot about that one so my silk touch one isn't as good but that's all right i don't i just kind of avoid using it as much but we definitely definitely need to get mending on this so we can start repairing things ow hello oh there we are So we can't really repair it until we get mending, I believe. But once we do, we can, um, that's what the skeleton, not the skeleton, the spire spawner will come in handy with that. It'll help us uh, repair it through enchanting and stuff like that, or through XP. All right, we'll see you later, Jerry. Thank you so much for hanging out. Nearly there. Oh, got to sleep. Urgent. Urgently have to sleep because I am suddenly tired. No, you can't really just you can't just repair um, items in Minecraft. At least I don't think you can. You have to have um, an enchanting uh, an enchanting book or whatever that you put on your tool called mending. And then through there, it's like super simple. You just like any XP that you absorb, it will like go into your tool and repair it for you, which is really cool. Oh yeah, you can use anvils and stuff though. Like I think if you combine, um, if you combine tools and stuff like that, that's like one way that you can repair it. There we go. Your eye ticks for the iron and coal left behind. I know, I know, me too. Usually I'm very good at grabbing that stuff, but I'm like, do I need it? I don't know. I feel like I, I will regret it though. I will regret not grabbing it. Oops. There we go. Boom. Okay, last one, which is perfect because then it's gonna break our ladder that we don't really need anymore. And then we're gonna solve the butter, the, the butter. I don't know why I said the butter the bubble elevator conundrum that I'm having. <laughs> what are my FPS? I think, I think I play in 60. I think I play 60 FPS, but I think my like OBS recording is 30, which I kind of prefer. I know a lot, of, a lot of people prefer, um, what's it called? Why is this here? Oh, I, I see. I know a lot of people prefer watching in 60, but I, I kind of like, I feel like 30 has more of like a cinematic look, you know? I don't know how to describe it. Oops, my bad. NHL season starting. Um, see you later. Oh, sweet, nice. Have fun watching NHL. Very nice. See you later, Sasquatch. Have a good night. butter elevator i i kind of wish it was a butter elevator butter is just delicious so uh oh i almost fell that would have been bad i think that would have been very very bad chat okay so oh wait no this is like the side that I would be fine ready there is water down there right eee! i'm so happy we did that i'm so happy we did that there's nothing important in this chest, right? I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna let all that stuff despawn. Or maybe I'll throw in a chest here.
now all we really need to do is like start like digging out like kind of like useful areas in here and replacing it with deep slate and just decorating it. So what I'm thinking is I'm just going to throw down a double chest here so I can just throw a bunch of stuff in it. I just have so much garbage that I'm going to have to put in my uh, storage system later. All right, now it's bubble elevator time, which I'm like low key nervous about because I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so <laughs> please help me chat. Help me. All right, let's put all this stuff away so it's not clogging our inventory. Oh no, do I? Okay, I do have water still. Perfect. So the soul sand. We need to put this soul sand down. Hello? Hello. Oh my gosh, look how many there are. Swag. Oh my gosh. Amazing. I love it. We love to see it. Pretty good. Pretty good. I am absorbing all the XP, right? I think I am. I don't see any that's like falling away from it. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. You're seeing live stream ads? Really? Hold on a second. Oh. I'm trying to fix that. Sorry if you all got hit with that. Did you see anything or no? Little tip, mine out from the water at that drop so you don't hit the edge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like have it go like two blocks, right? Oh, you just got that? Okay, I think I accidentally clicked a button so that maybe is why you got it, but before you didn't have any, right? But I think you may have gotten one just now because I accidentally hit it. <laughs> Uh-oh, mistakes were made, mistakes were made. Okay, here we go. I was just trying to make this all deep slate so it looks cool. So if I do something like that and then fill this with water, it should be fine. It's currently running right now, but that's fine. So right here, because I can nick the edge of the block, right? I'll have to fix it so it's not running and it's like stagnant. I don't think I can do that right now though, no. Okay, so with this bubble elevator, what we're gonna have to do is we need the soul sand and then how do we have it? Do we have it so like there's a sign right here? This is very cramped. I wish I did it one more block in, but that's fine. That's fine. It's a learning process. Is it the sign that I put like right here so it doesn't like the water doesn't go anywhere, I think? Oops. Probably need two then, something like this. This is very, very cramped. <laughs> oh no. Actually, I can, you know what I can do? I can fix this. I don't have to have it like right beside here. What I can do is, oh wait, no, I don't think there is any way around this. This is probably the best solution for now. I'm thinking. Yeah. All right, so I have two signs here and then I start placing the water up. Or what I can do, oh wait, no, I can't because I'm stuck down here. Oh, I forgot about this. Do I ladder up? How do I do this? Hey, Drift, left a moment to make a sandwich. Glad to see the tunnels looking nice. Nice, what kind of sandwich did you have? Yo, Stobbles, what's going on? Welcome in, how you doing? Ladders, okay, should we just like ladder up again? This is this is gonna be the part where I'm very confused. Bubble elevator, very confusing for me. Oh geez. Water bucket up. Okay, drop the water from the top. 
Use the water bu bucket trick. Okay. I think I need to get rid of this cobble first. I think that was my my big mistake was I filled this in with cobble earlier. I need to get rid of that now. This is just like pure pain because I don't know how to do this. I've made one before, but I literally, it's been so long since I made, I think the last bubble elevator I made was literally like two years ago or something in my very first long play world. So now I'm like, huh? It's Friday, so you're vibing. Heck yeah. Love the Friday vibes. Going into the weekend, just chilling. And I'm I'm honestly just vibing too. I'm actually like glad it's Friday today. I think um I think we might be going out tonight after this stream, hanging out with some friends, just chilling. There we go. Okay. Okay. Chat. I think I got this. I think I got this. I don't have this. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, what if what if what if I drop water here? You see? Does the ladder hold it? It doesn't. Okay. Okay. What if I do this? Come on, come on, come on. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It'll be fine. It, this is fine. This is fine. Come on, come on. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, no. Oh, no. I should have used the water breathing. I should have used the water breathing. What do I do? Oh, oh. What's this? Oh. <gasps> It does hold on to the water, kind of. Let's go. Oh my gosh, this happened by accident, but this is this is working. This is working. <laughs> it worked. It worked. Oh no. Ah. Uh. <laughs> this is not what I intended to do, but it worked. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that was not what I intended. The sound of the spiders killing you. I know, it's so funny. <laughs> oh, are they drowning me out? <laughs> Hold on, let me turn it down a bit. <laughs> there. Get out of here. That technique. <laughs> Swag. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I get some swags in chat for not dying in that moment? Because I really thought I would. Whoa, we're at level 40 now. Big swags. Oh my gosh, that was too good. Hello? Why is it only going up one? Chat, what's happening? Do you only need- no. Oh! No, it only went up two. Because you need to go up all the way, right? Oh gosh. Oh no, I'm stuck. Chat, chat. What do I do? <laughs> no, stop. Please help me. What do I do? Oh, where's my shovel? Ah! Oh no. 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 I hate this. I hate this. Oh. This is so much. Oh, wait, how do I, why isn't it going? Oh, here we go. Okay, I see now, I see. <laughs> I think I got it. It's cause I have to attach it at like the top of the kelp, right? <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. Okay, I got it. Except I, don't because that's definitely not enough kelp. Am I gonna make it up again? Oh, I'm stressing. I'm stressing. This is so far. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Come on. Come on. Okay, I, I think I can see the top. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're fine. We're fine. Ah! Oh, I made it. <sighs> Woo! So, after this, we're never doing a bubble elevator ever again, right, chat? I think we can all agree on that. I think we can all agree that I should probably never do that again. I do have some kelp growing in here. Yes, I do. This has been absolute chaos, but it's also really funny. <laughs> oh yeah, bone meal. Let's bone meal this, because I think we're going to need a little bit more than like 13. Just to be safe, I don't trust this. Oh, this is like a really big drowny stream today, right? Holy. 
Not you panicking at work over the bubble elevator. <laughs> this is just, I knew this would be a disaster. I knew it. But honestly, I'm kind of here for it. It's, it's really funny. You know what? It's almost done though. It's almost done. This is, this is the last part that we have to worry about. Oh, where'd you come from? Hey, get out of here. Go. Goodbye. You made your first bubble elevator in your world recently and it was the biggest pain. See, see, it is. It's, I totally clearly sympathize. It's, it's hard. I don't understand what I'm doing. It's wild. It, I think once I get like a better technique and watch a tutorial, I'll understand a bit, but like, it's not that easy. I feel like you gotta be quick with some things, you know? All right, let's put this away quickly too. And we'll bone meal some kelp and we should be good. I see you. Get out of here. Yeah, definitely water attacks are definitely my weakness for sure. All right. Let's bone meal some of this. I think it'll be worth it in the end because I mean like this is a little bit of pain right now, but in the end I think it's gonna just like make things a lot quicker because I have a feeling we'll be using this, uh, whoops, this farm a lot, but in the meantime, making this is, is not easy. It, the struggle is real here. Okay, we can probably just go down here and finish this. I think. Oh no, okay. I need to regain some of my breath, hold on. All right. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Chat, I'm ready, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. Drift is a fire type. You know what? That speaks true to like even, oh my gosh, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. All right, we need to bone meal a little bit more. I honestly thought we had like a couple more blocks to go, but I guess not. I need a little bit more bone meal than that. I think I should have some like extra bones lying around and stuff like that. Pretty sure we had bone blocks from the nether. If not, I guess we're gonna have to do another trip soon. Yeah, another trip. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, got enough here. Ooh, that's a lot of bone meal. Where does one put bone meal when they're done with it? Apparently I've been putting it here. All right. Don't have enough room for that though. So we'll leave some here. Two stacks should be good. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need like a respiration helmet for sure. I don't even know what's, oh, it's only protection. Definitely need a better helmet. I can't believe we're already at 40 levels too. Cause I think when we started the stream today, what were we at chat? I think like around like 35 or something like that. And we've just been kind of like casually hitting those like uh, spiders whenever we're around. <gasps> oh, I can use bone meal from the bottom of the kelp to get it going up the elk. Oh my gosh, that's so smart. That is so smart. Oh yeah, I could have just done that. Bruh. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try that out. We're gonna try that. Let's give it a shot. Whee! Azzy, is this what you were talking about too? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yo! I completely 
misunderstood what you were all talking about this whole time. You're like, bone meal it, bone meal it. And I'm like, huh? And I was like, oh, I'll bone meal the stuff in the water over there, not realizing that you meant do this, do this instead. Chat, like all of you, you're all brilliant. Oh my gosh. That is so swag. Let's go. Oh my gosh, look at this. Ready? Oh, what's this? Oh, goodbye. Just just going up my casual bubble elevator. Woohoo! Cool! Aw, oh, chat. I can't do any of this without you. I love it. I love it. I'm so happy. So cool. Okay. So now that we have this done, I need to figure out what we're going to build on top of it. I don't know if we should do like a little bit of a house or something like that. Or maybe we should do like a little well that we can just kind of like fall into or something like that. Big swags. Big swag. I don't know. What's what's the vibe for this little entrance? Should we like make it more discreet or make it more of like a house? Because I'm like right now it's like really pretty much directly in line with this. I'm almost thinking because it's in such an awkward spot, maybe like a well surrounded by some like crops or something would look kind of cool too, right? An outhouse. An outhouse would be an option for sure. It would actually be pretty funny. I think an outhouse or a well. Maybe I should put out a poll for us, eh? Hmm, let's do a poll. What should we build? Outhouse or well? A statue of Tony. Oh, that will that will come for sure. Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. It just it feels right almost, right? A lot of you are, are saying well for sure. The one thing I hate is like I wish I had gone a couple blocks back because it's like, oh hello. Hello, where are my spiders at? Where'd they go? Did I mess something up in the process? I haven't heard them in a few. Oh, there they are. There they are, right on time. Hello, friends. Yes, hello. Wish I had a little bit more space than like one block, but that's that's okay, that's okay. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Actually, whoops. So much iron around here. Uh-oh. No, my iron. No. Build yourself a respiration three helmet, honestly, at this point. Yeah, I think I need to. <laughs> uh, yo, Papa Ghost, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing? Just wanted to say hi and that you're a new subscriber and you love my content. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Oops, the water's going everywhere. Oh, yeah, I need to fix this as well because I don't want it to be like running water right there. No, wor no worries, though. No worries. Just just going up in my casual bubble elevator. So easy. So easy. Just going to grab this water. Going to go down real quick. No sweat. Love it. I'm so happy. Okay. What I'm thinking is... Mm, let's see. Let's fill all this in with deep slate. And then let's get some oops, torches here just for now. I should build an iron farm. Iron farm I have not uh, attempted to build yet, like ever. Definitely will one day, though. Not today, but someday for sure. Okay. 
just gonna fill some of this in with deep slate to make it look kind of cool for the time being. I feel like I should mix in a little bit of the cobbled deep slate as well, actually. Let's do that. I take it back, chat. I don't want all of this just the deep slate brick. I wanna I wanna texture it just a little bit, just a tad. Like not too much, but just a little bit. There we go. The spiders are going absolutely wild right now. It's so funny. Want a little bit more height along here as well. There we go. Oh no, I don't wanna go up. I don't wanna go up. No, no, no. Okay, I think the consensus- oh my gosh, it actually is like pretty split. Here we go again. It's all pretty split. This was a close poll though. I think we're gonna have to go with the well, for sure. Heck yeah. Yo, Lori and Gabby, what's up? What's going on? How you doing? Welcome in. Cracked Deep Slate. I don't know if you can actually use Cracked Deep Slate. Um, I should grab my stone cutter. I don't think you can- wait, can you? Yes, you can. All right, we'll see you later, Pookie Bear. Thank you so much for hanging out. It was so nice having you around. All right, let's see if we can make some cracked... If we can make cracked deep slate, I feel like it would be in a furnace. That would be the option. I think you can, though. I'm like 80% sure. Let's bring this down with us, actually, because I'm going to spend some time decorating down here. Our one trick that we're gonna have to do with the well though is one, make it big enough, and two, make it like accessible so we can actually hop into it. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. Yeah, I think we do put deep slate bricks in the furnace. I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. Okay, let's dig this out a tiny little bit more. That looks dangerous. It looks like I don't I don't want to be here, so I'm just gonna block that off. Okay. The spiders are killing me now. <laughs> like it's just so ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm thinking like a crafting table here. Hello? Do you mind trying to make this area look pretty, okay? ridiculous oh my gosh there we go are we getting good drops out of this i think we are we're getting quite a bit yeah this isn't bad nice okay let's start filling all this in i'll build like a little like furnace area and stuff like that too Yo, Apathy, welcome back. Welcome back in. Okay, I'm gonna expand on this a little bit more. We're gonna kind of like build out into here. I just want a little bit of space to like craft and all that stuff, you know? So I want to get this part finished off and then we can go up and build the well, you know? close this off though this is scaring me something like that I think we'll go how many is this across one two three four five six actually we'll make this wall right here I don't think we need that much space this should be okay Fill all this in. Ruth, when she wants to be fed, that's actually very accurate. Pretty much just like incessant, just will not stop. <laughs> Which reminds me here, let me grab this XP. Ruth is very calmly sleeping beside me right now though. It is actually adorable. I posted a picture of her sleeping in the chair that, um, 
she sleeps in when I stream and literally she's just doing the exact same thing right now. Like if I took a picture today, it would look no different than the one I posted yesterday in Kickback. All right, we'll see you later, Vapor. Thank you so much for hanging out. The spider sounds, yeah, the spider sounds are just like, they just will not stop. Actually, I'm gonna turn it down a bit for you all just because it's like probably a lot right now. Let me know if that's a little bit better. Just a little bit. There we go. That'll give us like a good space to build out a couple things. So this is kind of my um, my classic junk drawer that I have, as you can see. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build like a little cute workstation, maybe. Maybe we can do something like this. I'm going to break this little guy right here. Put him in the corner like that. There we go. Then maybe what we can do is we can have one like that. That's kind of cute. Get our little stone cutter, because why not? And then actually what we can do right here instead is maybe like a cute little furnace area. Yes, yes, this is all coming together. Very good, very good. We'll get two furnaces. You never know. Might need them both. Let's get a couple walls. Is my sp Are the spider sounds a little bit better now? Because I know they're very, very loud before. Oops. spot something like this Ooh, or actually let's use a wall let's use a wall right here I'm just gonna make like a cute little chimney area or something there we go and then we can finish it off with a little bit of a slab or something let's make one like this easy peasy or actually let's go have it going the other way Sorry, I'm in drift build mode right now, where I'm just like <laughs> focusing very hard on this. There, I think I like that better. Doesn't really need a slab. Or do I? Mm, no, 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 no. Do, 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 do. Mm, 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 mm. I think I liked it the other way better, actually. Oh my gosh. I'm, I am actually like losing it with the sound of the spiders right now. It's so funny. Oh my gosh. I don't know if anybody can hear that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, oh yeah, chains on the ceiling would be really cool. Actually, we're in an area where we have a lot of chains that we can easily collect. We should do, we should definitely do something like that. We need some lanterns in here as well too. You love drifty build mode? Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> oh no, was the stream dipping at all? Oh, I just gotta close my curtain quickly. Okay. These spiders, oh my gosh. <laughs> Like, is it just me or do spider spawners just like, I feel like they spawn a crazy amount. I feel like the other mobs do not spawn at this rate. <laughs> like there's no point in even doing that because they're just going to be back any second, you know? Oh, there they are again. I hear them. Yay, they're coming back. <sighs> Can 
you want to see the stream, but it's uh, 3 a.m. in Japan, so you need to go to bed. Oh, no worries. Totally understand. Thank you so much for hanging out, though, and have a good night. Yeah, lanterns hanging from chains for sure. I think we need some, like, cute little, like, um, slabs along here, too. Maybe what I'm thinking is... <sighs> Remember when I said I didn't need slabs? I was like, I don't need those spruce slabs anymore, chat. I do. I do need the spruce slabs. And I'm sad about it. But we also do need uh, some things like chains. So let's go grab those really quickly. Ooh, yeah, we could always throw a torch in there if we want to pause the spawns. For sure. As long as it doesn't bother you guys, I, I'm totally cool with having it up, though, because it's at least it's like free XP, too, that we're getting while we're working on stuff, which is more than ideal. Imagine being an inchling in an origin SMP. I actually have not tried the inchling one, but um, my friend Froggy did. Uh, she did the inchling one when we did a video together and it was really fun. Ooh, candles. Candles are a vibe. Let's get some barrels, maybe. Did I need anything else? I feel like we will definitely need an anvil. But is there anything else I said I needed, chat? Oh yeah, spruce sla slabs. That's what it was. Hmm... I'm trying to think of what I do not need here. I don't think I need this soul sand anymore. Let's get rid of that. Swag. Although I could probably use a little bit more like spruce wood for decoration. And we grabbed the slabs. Okay, I think we've got everything that we need. Oh, thank you so much, Nav Ninja. I appreciate it. I really love how this world is turning out so far, too. It's been so fun. The progress that we've made a bit has been like a little bit slow and steady, but like it's been it's been good though, I think, you know? Uh-oh. It's nighttime. I'm scared. Uh, uh. I was gonna grab spruce, but now I need to dip. I don't have a bed here. I'm thinking for the next um, stream already, though, like, I don't know what we should do next. So we have a good XP farm now. I think villager breeding is definitely something that we kind of need to look into doing as well. But can you all think of anything else that might be useful for us? All right, I'm gonna get some spruce wood real, real quick. Probably chop down one of these trees. I don't think we need all of them here. I always replant them too. I really need to fix up this surrounding area for sure. Because I want to like lay down coarse dirt and stuff like that along here. Still love this building though. I think it's a good one. Let's chop down. That's a pretty tall boy. Let's do this one. Yo, welcome back, Nugget. What's going on? A giant stone monument for Tony and Tony Jr. It's gotta happen. I agree. I agree. A stable. Stable would be good. A bigger storage room. I think we can still make buy with the one we have for now. Like, we're definitely gonna have to expand. But I don't know if there's anything else that we really need to do for now. I'm thinking like the next big task though, honestly, might be getting ready to like fight the dragon. I would like to do that soon. I think it would be really fun. There was a creeper. I didn't even see one. I guess the creeper did his job in hiding well then. Oh, there is a creeper. Oh my gosh, there he is. He was like in plain sight and I just walked right past him. I never noticed them though. Uh oh. Uh oh, didn't even hit you. Okay. Bye bye. Whew, that was scary. 
two words, nether hub. Ooh, scary though, scary. I mean, we could make a safe spot for me in the nether, so. Yo, SP, what's going on? Welcome in, how you doing? Oh, Newton Y, what a classic. Newton Y will always be in my heart. Love that guy. The Grim Creeper. <laughs> Yo, Annika, what's going on? How you doing? Honestly, the shaders could make make the creepers blend in more. I feel like that is a definite possibility. Hey, Felix, what's going on? How you doing? Woo, so fun. Okay, I think we've got everything that we need. What would it look like if I kind of like decorated it like this not like that but like this let's see mm. yeah i could get behind this okay okay i can get behind this chat i can get behind it Yeah, I think this looks cool. All right. Ooh, that's gonna have to be like another two blocks, I would say. Yeah, something like that. So we'll have this whole area to kind of like have a little workstation in, which is honestly more than enough room. I don't even really think we need to use this that much, but it'd be nice to have like um an anvil and stuff like that here. Or at least I think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're never ending. Yeah, I always run past the creepers. I like, honestly, I feel like that's why creepers are probably the most dangerous mob for me anyway, because I never notice them. What is everybody's like most like common way to like die in this game. I feel like for me, I mean, I think mostly it's like falling and stuff like that, but I would say if there's any mob that gets me the most, it's usually, I think it, it would actually have to be creepers. They, they do their job, you know? Next tr stream, try to fight the warden. Oof, don't know about that one. I feel like that would be absolutely terrifying for me i still would like to find a deep dark in this area though i don't think we've come across one yet actually do, 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 do. there we go something like that is probably good Let's keep it really simple in here. There we go. Something like that is good. I think that's looking real nice. Excellent. Just got to fill in this floor real quick. There we go. Excellent. All right, so we got like a cute little area like this, and now maybe we can do like a couple of chains. What I'm thinking is maybe even like knock out like this part. Oh, we have more cave above us. But what I was thinking was like kind of like do like an indentation of like one like this. And it'll go across, oops, not here here possibly yeah something like that here let me just fill this in really quickly so nothing like drops down on me i was thinking maybe like a chain here a double chain right here yeah i just have to get rid of all this granite and stuff like that and then we can do lanterns hanging like this something like that i think that oh that falls pretty far down actually maybe we just need like one on one chain 
and then the other just like that. Yeah, I think that's really cute. Cute, I like it. I'll just have to fix that up. Oh no, 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 no. Get out of here. Jeez. Creeper for sure is what gets you. For you, it's falling uh, and skeletons with their range. Yeah, skele sometimes skeletons, they're tricky. Like, it's because of like the knockback or whatever that they have on their bows. And then I just like, I feel like they do a lot of damage. Drowned with tridents. Yep. Oh, every hardcore world, that's how you die to them. That sucks. They come out of nowhere though. And honestly, they do a lot, a lot of damage. Zombies, rarely. I feel like zombies are the, like the types that, um, like they'll get you if there's like a swarm of them and then you have like no chance of getting out. Or like they're the ones that kind of like push you into like bad situations where like they'll push you into like the horde of zombies will kind of like push you into like a, a skeleton and they'll just like the skeleton will get the final blow something like that i feel like for this part what we can do is maybe oops deep slate stairs along here Oh, I see. This this doorway is only one, or, uh, I don't think we need it to be too wide. I think I can fill it in like this. It'll look a little bit better. <laughs> These spiders, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot that the sword is named Butter Knife as well. What is the purpose of the kelp? So the kelp, um, when you combine it with uh, soul sand, it'll create the bubble elevator. So it'll make it like basically like breathable water that will like shoot you up. So if you place the kelp down and then break it, you now get like water that will push you up. It'll create like the, um, the bubbles just like that, which is like a really cool mechanic. I love it. Oof, I need to get rid of that granite on the side there. Go away. Go away. There we go. So if I have this going across here, what I need to do now is I need to fill this in with slab. Just kind of like complete the pattern right here so it all connects. And then what I can do is knock this out as well. I think I should replace. Yeah, there we go. My inventory just keeps consistently filling up. Honestly, now a lot of people keep talking about inventory updates and I am fully on board for inventory <laughs> updates. But then also I'm like, is it just going to keep like enabling me to have like a very messy inventory? You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm just unsure. Mm. What would it look like if we went all the way around with these? Yeah, this is it. That's the one, chat. That's the one. That looks very nice. Just like a nice little design on the top part, you know? You know what this needs? You know what this needs? Can you all guess what I'm going to say this needs? <laughs> I feel like you can. Very medieval aesthetic. Heck yeah. Oh, I'm glad you guys like it. Yeah, the, the shulker boxes are super useful. That's why I'm like, that's why I think like I would like to kill the dragon soon, especially because if I were to go to the end, that would legitimately be my first time as well. And I think it'd be really fun to do it with you all. I think like kind of exploring the end for my very first time on stream would be very, very fun. Because I, um, in my Let's Play series, that was like the first time I killed the dragon alone, but I never ended up going to the end that I ended it at the dragon fight. So I think I would really, really like to do that. Maybe we should start kind of like gearing up for that. I feel like I'm pretty much ready minus like the mending and maybe I could get a little bit more armor and stuff like that. But we've got ourselves like a decent XP system now. Um, we've got villagers in the works, which is nice. Y'all said leaves, you were right. It was definitely, definitely leaves. Ooh, and a spore blossom actually. Moss, moss would be good too. We could add like a little bit of, um, 
moss to the edges here. Yeah, let's do it. We might need a little bit more deep slate, chat. Just a little bit. I think we're gonna have to go get some. We'll keep all this stuff for now. I think we need an anvil as well. That'd probably be useful if we have like XP going on here, right? Uh, let's make one really quickly. Was that how you make an anvil? Yes, but I don't have enough iron. Okay. We'll go smelt some more. Whoop. So fun. I love doing this. It was well worth it. It was very, very anxiety inducing to make because I was not good at it, but like it was fun. Glowberries? Yeah, let's do some glowberries too. These are all very good ideas. Let's do it. Is there anything um, that we really need for the spider spawner? Because we've got a bunch of storage down there now. We need, an, we need an anvil for sure. And I think that's pretty much it, right? Okay, where's all my mossy stuff? Can do some glowberries, some moss block. Don't really have that much left, but that's okay. I think I want to go spruce for this one. I'm not sure I have a spore blossom though, actually. No, I don't. Dang. A potion stand would actually be kind of cool. I mean, like after all, spiders do give you um, options for like potion brewing and stuff like that. You use spider eyes for a lot of things, right? I think you do. The first thing you do in your survival world is get an anvil and name your salmon Sam. I love that. That's amazing. <laughs> but you then know, you put it in an item frame after? Anvils make you happy. You love making a forge smithy er smithing area. Yes, me too. I love making little areas like that, like little cute workstations. Uh, let's see. I don't have any more moss in here. Maybe I'll take some of this mossy cobble though. Chat, I'm like all out of moss. What's going on here? I think I'm gonna have to go to like my little moss spot quickly. I don't even have my bone meal. No! So many, so many failures going on right now. I need, I need to build up my supply of moss again. A moss farm would be, would actually come in very much in handy for me because I use so much. Get it together. I know. I know. You know, this vacation like put me off my game, you know? I got, I got too comfortable, too cozy, not playing Minecraft for a while. Now I'm like running around being like, what am I doing? I'm so lost. Ready? Whee! Oh, I thought that was going to be like a cool drop into it. No, oh, come on. There we go. Swag. Oh, I hear an Enderman. That's not cool. Okay, let's drop some of this stuff off. And then I'm just gonna do like a quick little moss trip, I think. Could probably put some of this in here, but I don't think. Oh, I have two coal. Perfect. Approximately two coal to put away. That's great. <laughs> I think a brewing stand would look really cute in here though. So we'll do that as well. Okay. So we need a little bit more deep slate. We need a little bit more moss. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure. Oh, hello, zombie. Ow. So nice of you to greet me. Goodbye. I kind of really like the fire aspect on the sword. I think it's I think it's fun. I like it. That might be one of my favorite sword enchantments, I think. This is risky. I need to put water down here. Oh, oh my gosh. That was scary. I did not mean to do that. I actually almost fell. I can't believe I caught myself at the end. Do 
Yo, Cedar, what's going on? Welcome in. How are you doing? Finally catching a live for the first time. You're still pretty new to Minecraft and your videos have given me so much inspiration. Oh, that's so nice to hear. I love it. Well, welcome on in and I hope you enjoy the stream. I hope you're having a really good Friday. Hope it's been chill. Oh yeah, we need a spore blossom too. I'm not sure if I can get one though because I have my little moss spot that I've been bone mealing. I haven't come across many spore blossoms. I think we've, we have one so far that we're using near the enchanting area. I'm surprised I don't have more. Need to get torches back here. There we go. Come on, diamonds. I know I'm here for deep slate, but like a couple more diamonds would be nice. A couple more diamonds. I wouldn't say no to that. Whoever says no to diamonds, come on. Redstone, bah, no. I say that right now and eventually I am determined to learn redstone a little bit more. Definitely, that's all my list of things I wanna learn for Minecraft and improve on is for sure redstone designs and stuff like that. I've definitely come to learn that like automation in this game makes your life so, so much easier. I think that's like one thing I learned through my let's play, especially because like I found myself, like it took me a long time to do stuff. I mean, it's still even in this long play because I don't have a lot of stuff automated yet. It just takes so, so long. So to speed up that process and you can still make the builds cute too. You can still build like cute things around them and make them like fit the landscape of your world. It's been mad chill right up till the near fall experience a second ago. Yeah, <laughs> I always say it's chill and then something immediately happens after where it's like that was drift. Come on. That's not so chill. All right, deep slate acquired. Now all we need is some moss. You think it would be a pretty fun stream doing different redstone stuff? Yeah, definitely. I think so too. Especially like just us figuring out it out together. I know, I know it's hard for me to understand like written stuff, but I still feel like it'd be like a fun challenge for us to like figure out like even an iron farm or something like that. I don't know if that's um redstone cons considered redstone. I don't know what goes into making one. Yo, thank you so much. Is it is it yen? That's um Japanese currency. Thank you so much for the 800 yen. I really really appreciate it. Hi from Japan. Well, hello from Canada. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. I hope you're having a great day and thank you so much for hanging out. And I really really appreciate that donation as well. Thank you so much. Can I get some big swags in chat? Swag, 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 swag. Oh yeah, big swags, big swags. Yeah, iron iron farm would be awesome, honestly. And I've never made one yet either. Sugarcane would be good too. Honestly, although I found, I think I built a sugarcane farm once and I was like, it doesn't grow that fast. I felt like I almost could farm it faster by hand, but like maybe I was just being impatient. I don't know. Also, I find wool farms are fairly easy to make, but um, they're fairly easy to make, and I find that they're very, very useful. You end up using wool for so many things. I think that's how I ended up getting all my netherite armor in my Let's Play as well. I just ended up using beds because I was like, why not? I would love to make like um a creeper farm or something, though, for like rockets and stuff like that. That would be really cool once we get an elytra. Oh, sugar cane, you have to be in render distance to get it to grow. Okay, that makes sense. I think I was always kind of like running away from it and just like a little bit too far for it to actually be useful. Oops. I think still the thing I'm looking forward to the most for now is like not even necessarily the dragon fight, but I think I'm really, really looking forward to like 
learning how to end bust on stream with you all. I think that's going to be like a really fun challenge. Like obviously the dragon fight will be funny and fun, but afterwards I think I'm going to have so much fun figuring that out. Because it looks like it could be like quite a bit of a challenge too. Like there, there's many ways to die in the end. And I definitely notice that you have to be careful and stuff, so it'll be fun. All right, how much moss do I have? About a stack. That should be good. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. All right, we'll see you later, Pori. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I hope Mama Witch feels better soon. Yeah, the dragon's gonna be gonna be a lot of fun. I think, I definitely think we can start our dragon prep soon. I'm I'm starting to feel like a little bit ready. We have all diamond armor. I don't think we necessarily need netherite for that. I think we should be good with like mostly what we've got. We just need those like sweet sweet slow falling potions. I think we're halfway there with those now because we have all of the spider eyes and I think all you need, um, all we're gonna need is like blaze powder for the brewing stand. And what else do you need for, for that potion? I forget, I do not remember. Ooh, a super smelter would be good too. Yes, nether wart. We actually have not found a stronghold yet. Chat, is that what we do in the next stream? Is that what we doing? Are we are we gonna go find a stronghold? Uh, you left for a while, have you missed anything? So we basically finished up the bubble elevator um, after many near deaths, it's done. And I'm so happy about it. But then also we started building out the little area uh, by the cave spider spawner. So this is all done now, pretty much. We just have to like kind of decorate it up a little bit. Just add some cute little decorations, some more chests maybe. If I do, okay, I want to test something. If I do two trap doors here, can I do two barrels on top and then open this still? Yeah, I can. That looks kind of swag. I like that. Cool. Yo, May, what's going on? How you doing? Welcome in. Only if I can find extra flint and steel. Yes, I think I actually have a backup by the nether now, thankfully. That was a disaster, but also that was probably like one of the funniest things in the world. <laughs> I think, I'm pretty sure Azzy clipped it. I'm pretty sure uh, she did, because that was a good one. Did I have flower pots? I think I did. I think that was one of my ma favorite moments on this stream so far was the portal breaking because that's also never happened to me because I've always been so careful. Like I used to like, ooh, I can put glowberries here. Swag. Um, I've always been super, super careful about that. Like trying my best to actually keep it so the um, portal never breaks. I always put cobble around it, but this time around I was like, nah, it's fine. Like, who cares? And it it was bad. It was bad. Yo, Platypus, what's going on? Welcome in. How are you doing today? So nice to see you. Okay, I need to make a couple more barrels here. Do, do, do. Hmm. I don't think we'll need two anymore. Six should probably do the trick. And then what we can do is... Ooh, do we have oak? No, we don't. Dang it. Nah, spruce is fine. Spruce feels like a little bit more medieval-y. Anyway. Just close it off like that, maybe. Or maybe what I can do is... So we're not, like, wasting space right here. Um, let's build out like a little 
area like this first before I do that. Where is my axe? No, my pickaxe. Oh, it's right there. I do that so much with my pickaxe. I'm like, where is it? And it's literally <laughs> right in front of me. My gosh. So something like that to uh, fill this in. And then we just need like a cute little thing here as well. Mm, what could go here? I feel like an armor stand would look good. But also I'm like, maybe what I want to do instead is actually make all of this barrels all the way to the ceiling like this. Yeah, that looks a little bit cuter. I'm going to have to get rid of this piece, though, and then replace that with this. And then one more. Hello? Oh, don't mind me. Just just going to my casual, my casual cave spider XP farm that we made. Oh, just just gathering XP. Oh, yeah, what's oh, 44 levels. Yep. That's it. That's it. This farm is so nice. My camp cozy spider farm is a red room with spider murder sounds. I love that. Y'all have made some really beautiful things on that server, by the way. It's so funny. I was literally gone for a week and I was like, I wonder how much is going to like be built by the time I get back. And I was like blown away. Like y'all have like been so, so creative and just like made the most incredible things on that server. It's just so cool to see, especially after taking, like literally I was gone for a week and it, it looked completely different. I was like, are you for real? It was so, so cool to see. Just get some spruce up in here. Do we have any more trap doors? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. You did that with your portal specifically because Drift's little adventure. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> honestly, it is a cautionary tale. That's a very good point, Apathy. Because I honestly, like, I always used to do it anyway, like cover up my portal with cobble and stuff like that just to be safe. But then recently I've been like, eh, there's no point. It's fine. It's fine. But after that, I'm like, no, I'm going back to that. Definitely going back to that. It's not worth it. I think I have an anvil in here, don't I? Yeah, I did make an anvil. Where did I put it? Or did I not make it yet? No, I didn't make it yet because I didn't have enough iron. There we go. Now I have an anvil. Swag. Ooh, do I want it in this corner though? I don't know. Decisions, decisions. I don't think you get like mob drops on this, like on um sur regular survival, right? Do you get mob heads or anything? Or is that usually just on like servers and stuff? You were gone for a few days and now you have some neighbors. That, that server is so creative. Oh yeah, everybody is honestly like super, super creative in that server. It's so incredible to see. Like I'm just like so impressed by everything everybody has done. It's so cool. Mm. Nah. Nah. Let's leave it as is like that. Although I will put like something like that along here. Yeah, like that. Very cool. Or mm, what about this? Let's break this and then put the anvil here and then something here. I don't know what yet, but something cool. Maybe we'll just put this here for now and then do like, I don't know, maybe a chest or something like that. We have so much storage already though. Oh, I remember what we need, the brewing stand. Okay, let's get rid of this actually. Put this here. All right, all right, we got this. I think I, I, I cracked the code. That's not the code. Bear with me for a second. All right, chat. That's the one. That is the one. That's it. And then maybe if we put a few like cute little item frames and stuff behind there, we can put like some spider loot and stuff like that. I like that a lot better. Very, very cool. <laughs> These. <laughs> These spiders, man. <laughs> They're driving me nuts. Like I know it's a good thing because I probably have so much XP that I can farm, but oh man, <laughs> it's not fun being down here. Oh, it's so funny. 
Mm. Let's do this instead, actually. Yeah, I like that. Very cool. And then we can put our little flower pot here or something like that. This is like, this is just a little decorative corner, you know? Just a little decorative corner. Or alternatively, alternatively, if you give me a second. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Are you seeing this right? Does Drift have a trash chest monster again? You see nothing. You saw nothing. Avert your eyes. Avert your eyes. <laughs> Yo, Hannah, what's going on? Welcome in. It's your first time joining. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Well, I hope you're enjoying it and welcome on in. It's so nice to have you here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Honestly, I'm like, get an off switch, but at the same time... Do we want that? Because look at all the XP I've gotten today while we've been hanging out down here, you know? So that means I have to do, like, less AFK. You know? But also it is, like... <laughs> it just, like, feels like they're right beside me in my ear, like... <sighs> I made all these lanterns, but you know what would look cooler? Candles! So cool. And we just need a little flower pot. I think what we need to do is grab... You see nothing in this chest, by the way. This chest, it's perfectly well organized. You do not see anything, I swear. <laughs> nothing. Flower pot. Ooh, rose bush. <laughs> no, don't screenshot. Don't screenshot, please. Please. Yeah, we gotta light the candles too, for sure. Uh, when do we get a new episode of Bloodlines? I think the release for the next... Okay, so um, Froggy and Brooke, they're... I think they're releasing episodes. I don't want to say today, but like it might be today. They're um, doing chapter two into two parts. So like part one will be released today and then part two will be released um, towards the end of the month. I forget what day we have scheduled for like everybody who's doing one video. I forget what the final release date is going to be. It's going to be towards the end of the month, though, I think. Closer towards the end. I'm about, I think I'm about like halfway through my episode right now. And honestly, I'm loving it. It's, I'm just having so much fun making it. And it's so nice to see how much you all have enjoyed it, too. Like, it actually, like, completely, you have no idea. It, like, warms all of our hearts that, like, you enjoy it so much. Because it's, like, a project we've had planned for quite a while now. And it's been so hard to not be able to talk about it. I kept alluding to it in all of these streams as well, being like, I have a good project. I can't say anything, though. But now that we can kind of like finally talk about it and stuff, we're all so, so excited and so happy you're all enjoying it. Like, honestly, like it's not just me. It's coming from all of us. Like, we're so like actually like deeply excited that you all are into it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, Sunday then it's Sunday. The builds are so insane. Oh, everybody's builds on that, like, just, everybody's just gone above and beyond. It's wild. It's so, so cool. I'm, like, very excited to see, like, what else everybody has in store as well. Especially because, like, I found, like, a lot of the builds obviously, like, relate to, like, their character development, too. And that's what makes it so interesting. It's definitely, like, very, very cool to see what everybody's getting up to. I think that should be... I'm gonna make just, like, a bunch of item frames. I'm not going to use them all, but at least we'll have them. We need a couple flowers, too. I'm thinking... Ooh, no, a mushroom, a mushroom. I like that. Oh, yeah, the wagon. I think the wagon is, like, one of the biggest things I've ever built. It's crazy. <laughs> You really like the tent and the wagon design? Oh, thank you so much, Platypus. Yeah, I I love the little tent, too. I think I'm... I don't want to spoil much, but, like, the tents definitely do come back. I won't spoil any of my character stuff, but I think also we were all kind of planning on maybe... Or at least some of us were going to um, toy with the idea of doing a Bloodline stream as well, if you would all be into it. It'd be mostly, like, um, kind of us... Nothing like lore based, but I think kind of us just like interacting in the world and making paths and stuff like that and just adding like 
uh, detailing to the world and kind of it'll give you all a little bit of a different perspective since like the whole thing is very, very cinematic. I think there's some parts of the world that you kind of haven't seen yet through a different perspective and we'd definitely like for you all to see it. So if you'd all be down, I think that's something that like some of us at least are considering doing. Oh, Wax is built? Just, Wax is just like insanely incredible at building. And the best part about Wax is like, he freestyles too. I don't know how he does it, but like he is like a freestyle builder. Everything he does is just so, so good. Super talented. Honestly, everybody on the SMP is just like wildly tal talented. It's so cool. You love a Bloodline stream? Heck yeah, yeah. We're definitely interested in doing them, so it makes me super happy to hear that um, you all would definitely be down to watch. I think probably in the next uh, coming while we'll do one. I was thinking about doing like even like some path detailing and stuff like that, and then it'll give you like a closer look of like our builds and stuff like that. Yo, Abby, what's going on? Welcome in. How are you doing? So nice to have you here. How was I invited to the Bloodlines SMP? That happened like quite a while back. I think it was, um, from what I remember, I'm pretty sure Blocky, I think it was during one shot, like the season two, when I was on one shot, we, we were just talking and hanging out and he just like told me about the idea that they had and if I would be interested in joining. And I was like, automatically, yes, 100%. Definite yes, especially like something story driven with like a very like regimented like beginning middle and end i was like oh i'm so for this i thought it'd be like a really cool experiment to see how it played out and the funny part is like none of us knew how it was gonna go either like we did not know how it was gonna be received and it's just like so nice to see how into it people are it's so cool if anybody's wondering what i'm doing right now i suddenly decided that i needed to have a fireplace here and i don't know why <laughs> I don't, don't, don't ask questions. I just, I was just like, I think a fireplace would look very cozy here. Mm. Just going to fill this in very quickly and very loose. Just like a small little one in this corner would look kind of cute. something like that I think and then we can like make make it look a little bit nicer with like just changing some of these bricks to like stairs and stuff like that stairs and walls I'm thinking something like this would look cute Ooh, no, 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 not this, not this. It's gonna switch that around, something like that. Yeah. And then maybe we can put like a little stair on this side right here. Sorry, chat, I went off into build mode again. I apologize. I got lost, got lost in the build, you know? It happens. Ooh, no, we can't do that. Simply cannot have that. Something like that would be cute though. And then last but not least. Boom. Yeah, that's good. Just a cute little fireplace, nothing too fancy. Yeah, we need warm and cozy vibes, you know? Yeah, we got lost in the sauce for sure. Oh, I forgot flint and steel, chat. No, actually, I might have something to be able to make that. I think I might have flint down here. Down here. You found me today because of bloodlines and can't wait to see more of it. Also, hello, enjoying the stream so far. Oh, that's so nice to hear, Persona. Honestly, it makes me so, so excited, like seeing like new faces, enjoy it, seeing familiar faces. And it's just so nice, like seeing people comment like, oh, like, I've watched like this person's perspective as well. And like, I don't know, it's just 
so so cool i i know i keep talking about it but i'm like it just like completely warms our heart we're all so excited about it that you all dig it so much need some like glow lichen just to throw over because i want to have some like mossy corners but i find like the moss is like a very like stark contrast and also something like i think i've got tough yeah maybe tough to like transition into the brick as well you know what i mean something like this but i think we need some like glow lichen or something like that yeah I thought that was going to be coke, sorry. Or not coke, water. Somebody just came in, dropped me some water, but then I took a sip and I was like, that's literally not water, that is coke. But that, you know what? I, I'm not, I'm not complaining. Coke Zero is good. Coke Zero is good. <laughs> you really love mine and Brooke's backstory? Oh, thank you. I love that. The backstory was really fun to make up because like a lot of us, it was basically anything goes, right? Like we're all following a story and we all have parameters that we need to kind of like keep within. But there's also like a lot of leeway that we have. And it was really interesting to see how people started it off as well. Yo, Mitch, welcome back. What's going on? Can you get a Coke Zero delivery? I, I would deliver you a Coke Zero if I could. I would. All right, we just need to finish off this little part and then we're pretty much done with this section. I think the fire, it really did something here. It really added in coziness to this space, you know? Okay, turns out I don't have flint for the candles and that's a problem. That's an issue. <gasps> I also forgot the frames. That's what we were gonna do. Okay, I'm thinking for the frames, maybe like a little spider eye cause I'm like, that fits in theme. But then also one of my favorite things to put in frames, is honestly, glow berries. You just can't go wrong. Looks better if they're glow frames. It really looks a lot better, but we don't have any um, glow ink at the moment. We need to go find some squid soon, honestly. But you know what? This has turned out to be like a, quite a functional build. I'm really digging how it looks. Almost done with it though. Almost done. Then we just have to make like the well portion and then it's like fully complete, you know? I'm kind of like, I know some of this part is stone. You can't really see much of it though because I'm kind of like afraid to touch that. Oh wait, no, those are hoppers. We don't even have to touch those. That's perfect. Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. We'll just, we'll just close that off. Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. You saw nothing. Whoops. Excellent. Maybe what we can do here though is just like add stairs in either corner possibly? Let's see. Okay. Let's do two stairs. You don't see anything when I open this chest, okay? As far as you're all concerned, actually we'll have them, no, 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 we'll have them one up. Um, as far as you're all concerned, th those chests completely clean. There's nothing in them, okay? <laughs> you saw nothing. I need to organize it after. That's usually what I do after stream. Um, although I didn't do it with the other one that I had, the log build, the log cabin build. Usually I go in and I clean it up a bit. Oops, this is a very high ceiling, a lot higher than I anticipated, but that's okay. Cause I'm gonna get like a cute little chain running down or something like that. There we go. I'm gonna get like a cute little chain and put a lantern there, I think. So one, two, three. Yeah, let's get one right here. Cute. And then honestly, just to fix with like the height of the ceiling, it's super high. Honestly, just like throw a couple leaves in there or something like that. I really love the look of the spruce leaves with the deep slate. I think it looks so cute. Okay, that's a little bit better. Yes.
The chest doesn't exist. That's what I like to hear. What chest? See, this is this is why we all have a mutual respect for this. I have a feeling that we have a ton of people in chat who are actually like secret chest monsters as well. And I respect that, you know? Look at this. Very excellent. This has been a very productive stream, I must say. Yes, let's go. Look at that. 47. We're almost at 50 levels, chat. Can you believe that? Okay, so, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I just have to shear this. I don't want this, like, growing too high. Honestly, maybe I'll just keep it there and we'll shear it there. And then... Do I have a spot to put glowberries here? Yes, I do. Swag. Let's do that. We'll get some going there. And we'll probably shear it to... Eh, probably there. Excellent. All right, that's looking real mighty fresh. I love it. Okay, the one last thing that we really have to do with this place is make a well. Because this is pretty much done. I think I'm sufficiently happy with it. I think it looks super cute. Like, nice little build on the fly. We've got everything that we need in here, too. We've got, like, a stone cutter, all that stuff. We have a brewing table for if we ever want to make some potions. And you know what? A cozy little fire. Because who doesn't love a cozy little fire? I don't know what just happened, but everybody's thanking the mods, so I'll say the same thing. Thank you, mods. Thank you very much. <laughs> For all I know that the mods are, like, bullying me or something, <laughs> but... But I love it. I love it. Thank you, mods. You're the best. <laughs> we bark at you to fix it because it's the one flaw we cannot fix within ourselves. I respect that. Deep down, we are all, we are all Minecraft chess monsters at heart. There's no such thing as chess monsters, just normal chess. I respect that, Patrick. I love it. I love it. You screenshotted the chess. No, please. No. Um, I didn't string the berries. You, if you use shears, I learned this literally like not too long ago. If you right click on the berries and shear them, you'll hear like a little clicky sound and they'll actually just stay at that height forever here i'll do it again so you can hear uh where's the spot that i can do it so listen for it if you hear it you'll hear like the sheer noise or whatever or like a clippy noise and then they'll stay at that level and they won't grow anymore which is awesome and i wish you could do that with vines don't know why you cannot do that with vines it's very disappointing but yeah that's something you can do it's super useful. I remember when I figured that out, I think it was Block who told me, and I was like, <gasps> So many little tricks in Minecraft. Look at this, nearly at 50 levels. This is just way too swag. All right, now I just really need to build a well. I'm thinking maybe a cute little deep slate well would look nice. So let's bring all of this stuff up. We'll make a little bit more deep slate bricks. Mm. We're gonna need to bring this thing with us. Got all the spruce I need, I think. Yeah. All right, let's make a little well. I believe it's probably nighttime up here. I'm gonna have to run to my bed really quickly. Boop. All right, let's go to sleep. Yo, Sam, what's going on? Welcome in. How are you doing? Yo, Stuck, what's going on? How are you doing? I am doing great, by the way. Having a chill little Friday, just making some cute little builds today. I'm having so much fun. This has been a really great stream. I love it. Ooh, actually, I didn't mean to break that. I think we're going to have to extend the dirt out a little bit further. So we're going to, like, 
expand this out a little bit more. Uh, we need dirt. No worries, no worries. Because I can just go down here really quickly. I know I have dirt. And look at that. Easy peasy, look at that. I'm so proud, I'm so happy. It only took like a hot minute to figure out the bubble elevator, especially with the bone meal. <laughs> but once we did, oh, there's no stopping us now. No stopping us now, chat. Okay, let's fill all this in really quickly. You watching on your TV and phone so you can comment. That is the way, that is the way. I do that with Twitch streams too, um, a lot. Cause it's like sometimes you just wanna lay down and you want like the full screen effect of it on your TV because it's like super cozy, but you also wanna be able to comment, right? Like you gotta have both. Oh dang, are we out of dirt already? That went by fast. Jeez. Back down we go. Swag. Oh, do I not have? Okay, I only have a little bit left here. I have to go to my storage room. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that stuck. I hope you feel better soon. I hope you're able to get lots of rest. We're gonna need a little bit more, uh, a little bit more dirt. You know who I haven't seen in a while? The Wandering Trader. I think he like is afraid to come back now. He's like, no, no, no. Every time he sees me running around, he's like about to approach me and he's like, I'm gonna think better of that. Don't think I wanna talk to her. She's not very nice. Uh, dirt. grab that that should be good we only need to fill in a little bit more of that area i just want to widen it out a bit just so the wells like has more space around it how do i think of my um builds because your mind is so blank when it comes to that honestly i find like looking for ideas of inspiration, whether it's like real life inspiration or Pinterest helps a lot with like, there's a lot of really amazing fantasy um, illustrations that you can find on Pinterest. That really gets the ideas going, whether it's like you're trying to get a palette or something like that, or even a build design. So I do that a lot where it's like, I usually hash out the ideas of my creative world, but even for like little projects like this, I kind of start with like a basic little palette and just kind of work my way from there. But that comes with, it just comes with a lot of practice and like doing a lot of things in creative first. I found that like, that's definitely what helped my building the most was just like messing around in creative for sure. I really like using creative worlds too, because like, even if like I'm having a day where I don't necessarily like the build that I'm doing, I can always come back to it later as well and just kind of like tinker with things and change things up. Cause there's definitely builds that I do on my creative server where I'm like, nah, that ain't it. And then I come back to it later and I'm like, hmm, yeah, maybe it is it, maybe it is. What are you talking about? We've never been visited by the wandering trader. You're right. You're right. Never. Never once. He's never come by here before. Use creative plan builds as well. Yeah, same. I find it it's really helpful for me. Even like just testing out whether or not like a palette will work out. You know what I mean? Okay, so for this, ooh, I don't know how I want this well to look. I'm trying to think because I want it to look. It will be a little bit longer of a well is what I'm picturing. Maybe we can just have like secret gates. Is there anything that we could like kind of like walk through? Oops, that, that's not what I wanted to do. 
So we have like an entrance on this side and this side. Because what I was thinking was kind of filling it with like walls on either side like this. So walls on these sides, but we need access to it. But we also want it to look kind of discreet. Can't really walk through leaves. Is there any like item that we could walk through though? So it's like a little bit more discreet. Hmm, trying to think. Also, what if we do instead of... How big should this well be? I'm trying to think. We have two like this. It's a pretty long well, but it's not like super deep. Actually, that should probably be okay. Ooh, we could do chain or something like that. That would actually be a good call. Let's try something like that, see if it works out. Chain would be really cool. I was thinking fence, but I don't know how that would work if we could get it floating because usually like it detaches if you uh, break whatever it's attached to. Chain would actually be, I think that's the solution. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. We can kind of like cover it up with like leaves around as well. Basically, you kind of just walk over the chain. You're not really walking through it, but I don't think that'll really mess things up. Let's see. Um. Ooh, trap doors actually would be really good too, because then all we have to do is open them. That's a good idea as well. Ooh, I really like these ideas. We could try that as well. If the chain for some reason, like, because I'm going to be putting a little bit of a roof over top, if it kind of like makes it so we hit our heads and we can't go through, a trap door would actually be really cool too. Making secret areas on a, on a, um, a single player world, yes, but for aesthetic. It's all for the aesthetic. I was kind of picturing also having like maybe granite wall here. Yeah, granite looks kind of cool with the, um, with the deep slate, I think. So we can do something like this. Do we have spruce fencing though? Just gotta figure that out. That is not a crafty table. <laughs> I thought it was for a second. Let me just make my 4,500th crafting table chat. Don't worry. At the end, whenever we like end, decide to like end this world, I feel like we should do a count of how many crafting tables we have. Cause it, it has to be like, it'll be over like 500, I swear. It'll be so funny. Something like this, I think. So I think we'll need walls on this side as well. Something like that. Let's go. And then I think just like spruce on top, spruce trap doors. Probably gonna make a couple more. All right, we'll see you later, Sam. Thank you for hanging out. And I hope you have a wonderful day. You always make secret areas in your realms and then you get too excited about them to show everybody and it defeats the purpose. Yeah, see, that's the thing though. I'm like, as long as it doesn't have anything in there that you like don't want people to get, it's fine though. But secret areas are just cool, you know? Oof. I'd want to share it as well. That's the thing. I'd be tempted to share. Boop. Okay, wait a second. Something like this will look good. Oops, how did that happen? Oh no, it's suddenly very nighttime, very fast, scared. Oh yeah, the drift scaffolding is back. I forgot, I forgot about the 
bamboo scaffolding. It's back. It's back. Get me out of my ways. Get me out of my ways, chat. I can't help it. I just couldn't help myself. Am I gonna get in trouble? Uh, what shaders am I using? I'm using complimentary right now. I used to use BSL quite a bit, but lately I'm like, complimentary is just like, I, I love how it looks. It's got like warmer tones and it really suits, especially um the vibe of like bloodlines and stuff like that. So I've been really into using it lately. Cute. Okay, so this just needs like a little bit of detailing around the area. I'm thinking maybe just like cobble floor or something like that. Some cobble around it and just like some decoration and then extend our fields out to here. I think that looks super cute though. I don't think we'll hit our heads. No. Oh, I forgot about that. That piece of spruce that I left there. Okay, this is cool. This is pretty swag. I like it. The well was a very good idea, I think. Just break that. Actually, you know what? That wasn't necessarily bad there. I kind of like it for some reason. Kind of fills the space. Or, or maybe like since it's a double well, we can just like throw a wall in between. Something like that. Alternatively, instead of a wall, can you place a lantern on walls like this? I think maybe you can. Yes, you can. Oh, that looks good. Cool. Very cool. Oh, no. Oh, you got it. Thank you, Bootsy. Swag for Bootsy catching that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you're a noob with Minecraft mods and add-ons. What do shader packs do exactly? So shader packs just add uh, like more like realistic lighting and um, it makes the game look a lot more realistic. Actually, I'll just show you all quickly the difference. Do I have my shaders? Yes, I do. So it just gives a little bit more realism to the game. So this is vanilla, which still looks very, very good, but it'll add more like dynamic light and stuff to it. You can see like there's not as many shadows. Um, there's no like warm tones and stuff like that. It still looks very good though. I really like vanilla Minecraft as well. And like, I think it looks great the way it is, but I still love playing with shaders. I just think it's like, it just adds that nice bit of atmosphere to it, you know? So there we go. So I'll add more like shadows and like more dynamic lighting to the world. It looks really nice. <gasps> Speak of the devil. Look who it is. Well, well, well. Look who decided to show up today. What are you doing here? Fire coral block. Ooh, that's kind of cool actually. I don't really need any of this though. And your prices are kind of outrageous. Like I can literally go get a mushroom anywhere. I have like 40, like, come on, one emerald for that. Oh yeah, definitely scouting for the pillagers, not to be trusted. Move along, buddy, move along, move along. What am I buying? Nothing, nothing. You know what? Your prices are just like, consider, please consider changing your prices. Like an one emerald for a cornflower, you do realize that like, I'm pretty sure I can see it. There's literally a cornflower like over there. I can go pick that easily, easily. Yeah, I gotta, you know what? I, I gotta go get a glass of water. Like, hold on a second. I My throat is very, very dry. I suddenly just, I really need to go get a glass of water. I'll be back in a second chat, I'll be back. Sorry, I just need to take a sip of water really quickly. Oh, wait, what? Why do I have these leads? That's so weird. I feel like this game is like glitching or something. That's so strange. I should probably go put that away. I gotta go organize my storage really quickly. Why do I have all this leather too? What? 
I swear that like this world is like haunted or something. I don't understand why I keep getting these leads and like this leather in my inventory all the time. Yeah, oh. Yeah, I don't know where the- I think he just like ran off. See, the, my wandering traders are so rude. Do yours just like randomly like disappear and like run off? I don't understand. It's so strange. <laughs> hmm. Never gets old. <laughs> it literally never gets old. I don't know why. <laughs> Sinister laugh. <laughs> okay, I need to make like a bunch of um cobble really quickly. I have a bunch of moss down there. Mossy cobble is what I need. And we need a little bit of stone too. And then that'll help us like finish up our little area. The well. I really like how that build turned out though. I think it looks super cute. Actually, I'm going to keep this aside just in case I need it for some other things. Yeah, we'll keep all this stuff. He ran away and left a few leads as a sorry for his ridiculous prices. Yes, exactly. He had a change of heart. He was like, okay, you know what? You're right, Drift. You have a point. You have a point. And for that, here are my leads. <laughs> Drift, you left the redstone on your storage been for in a weird angle okay you know what i'm gonna fix that i'm gonna fix that because that drives me nuts too i'll fix it don't worry i got you i got you because i understand that <laughs> i love how i'm like messy inventory no 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 i don't i don't mind messy inventory the little redstone thing is out of place that must be fixed it must be fixed i got you azzy i got you How many days old is this world? Honestly, I don't even know. I feel like, I feel like this is still a fairly new world. Pretty sure. All right, let's go get some stone real quickly and then we'll just decorate the area around that well. Just a little bit of cobble or something like that. I think just needs to like ground it a bit. And of course, leaves. Why not? Why not? And then it's pretty much done, I would say. I really love how it turned out. I like this build. It's like a cheeky little fun build that we did. Very on the, on the fly? Off the cuff? Are those terms? I think so. I think so. All right, this should be enough stone. Now we just got to grab our moss from the basement. We're at 47 levels already, which is like mad swag. I'm so excited about that. And look at that. Just out of nowhere, a simple well popped up. This is all we did today, chat. We just built a well and that's it. Or did we? Wee. Swag. Love it. I'm so happy. This is so cute. Turned out very, very nice. Just pop a little lantern there just for some extra light. All right, let's make some mossy cobble really quickly. Boop. And we'll decorate around the well. I think we got leaves. Oh, I have flint now. So I think we can make some flint and steel. And guess what we can do? We can light our candles. Yay, so moody. Not much light given off, but like it's, it's like the aesthetic that counts, you know? Very, very cute. I love it. The cows of time. They're keeping our minds thinking that the trader just up and left. <laughs> I love those cows on top of the hill. They're my favorite thing. All right, let's just add in a little bit of cobble around the edges. And then I think this is pretty much like pretty much done. We still have to do like a proper, um, proper
proper farming episode, not episode, uh, live stream where we kind of like complete off the farmland because it's still like a little bit messy. I really want to get all these crop fields sorted. And like right now we have like a general path going from the well over to here, but we really got to like fix this up a little bit, you know? I think I'll just like path it out really quickly along here. I think like a winding path behind all of this crop field would look pretty good, especially if we start putting up walls and stuff as well. It'll look a lot better. That's definitely something that we're going to have to do soon for sure. Just a cheeky little path right here to connect it. So we've got like a little bit of a winding path started out right here. Very cute, very cute. Something like this. Yeah, that's looking real cute. Use the candle lighting for dark and creepy vibes. Heck yeah. I love the candles. I always forget to use them because like it's just like they're a little bit of a pain to make, especially early game. But once you have them, they're so cute. Candles are for vibes, not for lighting. 100% agree. <laughs> they slap IRL and in Minecraft. What's everybody's favorite candle scent IRL? Mine's dependent on the season. Like I love like a good spruce candle smell. Is that even a surprise to anybody? But I love spruce candles for the winter for sure. What's the threshold? Um, of unlit candles. Like, when does cute and cozy turn into creepy and super superfluous? I cannot say that word. Why can I not say that word? But that's actually a very good question. I would say, like, six. But it also depends on, like, where they're placed. I, I think six is the cap, where it starts turning, like, a little bit sinister, you know? And then once, like, I can picture, like, once we actually get this pathed out, kind of like the way that we did with the last, um, the last time we pathed out the farmland, it's going to look really good having, like, a nice little cobble path leading to this. But for now, we'll just kind of, like, frame it with, like, a couple leaves. And maybe like a couple like fence posts or something like that. And I think that's like really all it needs for now. Do I have bone meal? Cause bone meal will definitely help out as well. I think we just need like a couple trees around here too. Oh my gosh, you scared me. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> there we go. Yo, Charlie with the $7 donation. Thank you so much. Hope everybody's having a good day. I'm trapped at work. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope your shift is over soon and that you can enjoy your Friday afterwards. Thank you so, so much. Can I get big swags in chat for Charlie? Swag, swag. BRB chat. Hello, chat. I am back. I am sorry. Big swags. Okay. I just realized I didn't even keep track of time. I'm probably going to have to go now. That's why I, I dipped for a second. I just realized I probably have to go, but we pretty much completed everything. Pretty much. I mean, we got to fix this up a little bit. We have like a path kind of like leading towards this. So what I'm thinking is like <clears throat> next stream. I mean, next stream, I think I want to get like mending and stuff sorted, but I think I would also like really love to 
start working on this farmland a bit. It's kind of what I talked about in like the, oh no, I trampled my crops again. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay, so you can kind of see like these crop fields are still super messy. Like what I want is just like super clean fields with like distinct walls and or hedges or something like that. Oh no, sorry. I'll get rid of them. All oh, right, somebody already got him. Nice. I successfully ta taught you how to tame glowberry vines with shears. Oh, nice. I think, I, I forget who, I think it was Block who taught me that one. And literally my mind was blown over that. When's the next Bloodlines up? I would say mine's gonna be coming out with the rest of them. I know that Brooke and Frogcrafting are releasing uh, part one of chapter two this weekend, but I'm doing all of mine in one video. So it'll be more towards the end of the month. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out. It, we're definitely going to be doing streams on Bloodlines as well. I'm hoping maybe next week I can do a Bloodlines stream at least, and that'll give you all like a better perspective of how the world actually looks and stuff like that. And we'll be able to vibe on it and stuff. It'll be super, super fun. I'm really excited for that. So keep an eye out for a Bloodlines stream. Um, but yeah, soon for sure. You got a jet again. See y'all later. Oh, thank you so much for hanging out, Charlie. And thank you so much for the donations. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you have a really good day. My crops. Oh, no, my crops also drift. Hippity hop. Get off my property. <laughs> Honestly, I'm always jumping all over my own crops. You keep chopping the glowberries and they kept growing. They grow fast, too. Yo, Brooke, welcome in. Oh, my gosh. It's so nice to see you. Yeah, we're just wrapping things up. Big shout out to Brooke. That is a Bloodlines homie. Go watch her videos. Just such an incredible human being. And yeah, we've been talking a lot of Bloodlines today. So if anybody hasn't caught her videos yet, make sure you catch up on them. Absolutely just killing it with them. We were literally just talking about episode or chapter two of Bloodlines when they'll be releasing. So came just in time. Yo, Jake, what's going on? <laughs> Hi, Brooke. Bye, Brooke. Yeah, basically. But yeah, I think for like the next stream that we're going to be doing in this world, probably I think we're going to get some more villager stuff going on. I think we're going to have to fix up this area because right now we have a wonderful functional well, but it's kind of a little bit misplaced. It's looking like it's in the middle of nowhere. It's looking a little lonely, but at least we got it done. It looks it's super functional, super cute. Look at this. Boom. So cool. I am actually so excited about this. And thank you all, everybody, for actually like helping me out with this. Just so you know, when this, like when I do the next stream, this, it's not going to exist. It will no longer be here. It'll be organized, I promise. So we have a full chest now, which means I have the obligation to filter it into my storage unit. And I will 100% do that for you all. I promise it will, it will not be that way. It will not be no more mess, no more mess. But when we're building, I think that's okay. It's inevitable. We always get chest monsters, but as long as we organize them after, it's fine. But yeah, I'm super excited that we like made this cute little area. It's been super fun. And you all helped me out so much with this. And look, we got like mad XP now just through this. I think we were at 37. We're now at like 50 levels, which is crazy. So good. Fishing shack build soon. We gotta, we gotta do a lot of maintenance around this area, which includes docks. We will definitely get to that. <laughs> he screenshotted it. No, please, please. I promise it'll be cleaned up by the next stream that we do. I promise. But if I'm streaming on Bloodlines, good luck. My storage is even worse on there. It's, it's horrible. It is a mess. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, everybody, thank you so much for hanging out today. I have had so much fun and it was so nice to get back to this after my holiday. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming in, hanging out. Chill vibes as always. And that's thanks to you all. You're all the most chill people to hang out with and had so much fun doing this and I cannot wait for the next. And also, if you all want to chill out on the Discord, come hang out on the Discord. I will drop it into chat really quickly and come hang out there. Just vibe with us, hang out. We're doing a build comp. And yeah, I'll see you all soon. Bye everybody. <laughs>